but yeah, I'm I'm a little late to the party, and I will acknowledge that on the outset. But mm. Red Dead Two, baby. <laughs> ah, have you begun? So it's so good, bro. Where are you at? I complained with Mark uh, about this earlier today, and it happened again after I I, hung up. I fin- yeah after I hung up. Yeah. So I was doing a mission, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't realize this was possible, but I was doing a mission. I was trying to chase this guy, right? Mm-hmm. And like you got to stay on him, right? And so we're running. He goes between two trees, and it's kind of hard for me to see what's happening. And I try to follow him between these two trees, and my horse trips on a rock, mm-hmm. and I go tumbling, mm-hmm. and I, I fail the mission. Mm-hmm. And again, it happens again where I'm tracing a, a bank cart thing. We're trying to rob this uh, this carriage that has money, mm-hmm. and they're shooting at us. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> the way this happens is crazy. We're chasing the bank cart. I shoot one guy. He's on a horse, right? So I shoot him off his horse. His horse does a hard right mm. right in front of me and I go barreling <laughs> off of my horse and I failed the mission because I lost the vanguard. Shit happens in real life all the time. Oh, God. <laughs> so you're out of like the main area in the mountains and shit. Yeah, we're out of the mountains. And like you go have to, you yeah. have to go help John Marston. Yeah, John Marston and Mike attacked uh, or whatever. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Them. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't as much smoke as we've blown up Red Dead 2's ass on this show. Have we? As it's oh, what does that mean? Like hyping it up? Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, I think... Actually, it's not the strongest opening to a game ever. Okay. Like, there's a lot of tension. There's, like, interesting narrative questions. There's it gave the me moment like I've a... referenced of Dutch giving the, like, hype-up speech to That's everybody right. in the cabin. Like, all that shit's great, but it's kind of just, like, a little slow. It gave me Hateful Eight vibes. I was going to say. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely got that to it, but it's just, it's not the most, like... And also, you guys are going to say I'm stupid for this, but at first <laughs> I was like, wait, am I Dutch? I didn't know who I was mm. playing as, like, in the sure. first part of the game where you're, like, going to okay. the mm. cabin area yeah, to yeah. find yeah. supplies and stuff. I think it's definitely, like, I think it's definitely not maybe, um, like, casual gamer friendly if you want, like, action right off the, you know, jump. Mm. It's more slow and shit like that. Uh, but I feel like it's good, you know. Yeah. It's, no, it's, it's definitely just, a good intro still. It's but. good. It's just like you think of some of the greats of like you know, Uncharted Two for me is like it's like intro. the beginning of Uncharted Two and the fucking trains hanging off yeah. the thing, or the beginning of Bioshock. It's like plane crash, Rapture, bottom of the city. Like what the fuck is going on, kind of thing. Yeah. Like there's some of these games that have like these iconic. Like right off the bat, you're in kind of things. And with Red Dead Two, I remember playing it and being like, because at the time I also really wasn't a big rock star guy because mm-hmm. I'd never really fucked around with any of the GTAs too much, although I'm trying to fix that this year. Yeah. Um, but I just remember playing Red Dead 2 at the start and being like super excited for the game and then just kind of playing it and being like, this is interesting. With this first hour, it's kind of like, you know, so sore or whatever. But then as soon as it sort of like lets you, lets you out go. into the rest of the world and then it starts to get going, it's like, okay, this is clearly yeah. top tier I'm shit. Ex- I'm excited to finish this, and now that I have the catalog, I'm gonna go God of War. Yep. Uh, is God of War two also on it? Or Ragnarok is not on it. I'll think. just start with. Well, I haven't played God of War one yet, so I'll start with that. Yeah. And um, there are a bunch of games I'm gonna get to. I think uh, what was it? Um, the Archer chick. Archer the, with the robot Horizon? dinosaurs. Horizon. Horizon. Zero Dawn. Oh Zero yes, 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 yes. I gotta yes, get yes. to that. Too. Yeah. So Horizon. I'm excited to Very good. get through the catalog. Did you show them the um, the comment that we were talking about while I was out? I, don't, I mean, I'm sure maybe they saw it. Did you guys see uh, the, you guys comment, see the on comment on the post? <coughs> put Which up? post? Mm. The re- uh, most recent Instagram no, post. Our post? Yeah. yeah. What was the clip about? It was a uh, hockey. It was, it was like the hockey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. getting punched out. So the first, the first like five seconds of the clip is Maddie, or 10 seconds is Maddie talking about like the, the guy getting his teeth knocked down and yeah. still playing or whatever. And then it cuts to Patrick and he's like, he's like that. <laughs> and his shorts are like all the way up to here. <laughs> and then the guy's like, dude. Use a different angle. <laughs> Use a different camera angle, like the buddy. only comment on the post right now. God. Just some random. Oh, and yeah, then yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. on TikTok, the clip of you talking about um, if they proved scientifically or like the oh, idea I of proving. I going to bring up the car insurance one. Again. No, no, no. The idea of proving uh, an afterlife scientifically. Mm-hmm. I don't think the, this guy who commented even watched the post. He said, I disagree. That's all he wrote. And it's like, there's nothing to disagree to, with, to buddy. which part? There's nothing to disagree with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess you could argue that if they proved an afterlife, people wouldn't kill themselves Oh, that they wouldn't kill themselves in droves? Mass, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. I didn't I think know. about that, to be honest. I just thought he was an idiot. Um, But, well, that's good. Uh, I started System Shock Remake now that it's out. Okay. Um, I've been enjoying that. It's been filling the Bioshock-shaped hole in my heart uh, that I've had for going on a decade now. Mm-hmm. Um. But it's very cool. It's cool to see. It's definitely old, and it has some certain like 
because they did it very faithfully. So it's got some aspects to it that are a little like frustrating or at times I'm kind of like, I wish, you know, some of these things were a little bit more modern, but I mean, it looks fantastic and it plays good, but um, why did I bring this up? Oh, it's cool just to see like where the roots of like so many other games got things mm. where it's like, it's I don't know close. if this was the first game to do it, but it's like, you know, you're scouring the environment and you're like picking up audio logs and it's like, thank you. Wait, did System Shock come before Bioshock? Yes. Oh, okay. System Shock was the original. Then System Shock 2 was the one that Ken Levine had a very big part in. And then after that, he went and, like, with a new studio, did Bioshock as sort of, like, a spiritual successor okay. to System Shock, hence the name even. Yeah. Um, so it's cool playing that. There's even, like, for anybody out there who played Prey, Prey had this mechanic where you would find, like, junk in the environment and you would like recycle it yeah. for like other parts that you would then use for things. Mm. And there's a system like that in here. It's more for you can pick up shit and just use it in a recycler and it just gives you money mm. to use in like vending machines and like weapon upgrades and things like that. But so it's just cool playing an old game like this and just seeing the roots of like, oh, clearly Prey took like this recycling mechanic from this. And it's like, oh, clearly Bioshock took like the very like deep environmental storytelling and audio logs and all that shit from this. So it's just cool to see uh, mm -hmm. the roots of everything. You guys ever, you guys ever watch a movie and have your feet up? Like, <coughs> yes, recline? I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I went to, I went to, I saw Furiosa yesterday. Oh really? It's fucking awesome. And I went to the junction thing in Mississauga, which I've never been to before. It's like a really, it's like a truncated theater. It's pretty small, mm -hmm. but you have like a little button you press and like, there's literally a little recliner and there's a huge amount of like leg room in front of you. And there's like a little desk thing that swivels around so you can put drinks and food and whatever. Like mm -hmm. the VIP thing? It's regular. It's not admission. VIP. It's Junction made this thing where it's you don't it's not a VIP ticket. It's like a regular ticket, but it is, it says in the description like fully um fully reclining. Reclining. Yeah, yeah, fully full recliner, it yeah. says. Mm. Yeah. And I, so I just did that with my, with my where, buddy where yesterday. Is that? Was like, Aaron it's Mills. like Aaron Mills. It's closer to us than Winston Churchill Theater is. Really? It's really close. It's like fifteen minute drive. Oh. Yeah, so mm. next time you watch a movie, let's do that because it's like a smaller theater and it's more like kind of like into and like the the couches are like or the seats are like more like couches mm -hmm. they're, like they're leather right they're that but leather basically yeah, they're yeah. like super soft Damn. and Sounds you just like hold like the button the... and put your feet up it was it was great yeah. it was really late the movie was 10 30 and it was a two and a half hour movie so we weren't done until like 1 15 so like having my feet up kind of made me sleepy but i, I got through it because it was a really good movie <laughs> Did you go with anyone yeah, well, my friend, my friend Matthew from Minnesota. Oh, shut up, Matthew. Yeah, yeah, shut up, Matthew. On the show at some point. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Bro. Um, I really do appreciate the tray though mm -hmm. because oh, even just getting popcorn and you know if i smuggle in some stuff myself sure. like it's it's, it's really useful to have that real estate 100%. to be able to like operate you know what I'm the saying? biggest thing to me is like how comfortable the seat is mm -hmm. and the recliner is a game changer like i don't want to go oh, to a movie yeah. theater and not have to and like just sit yeah, like yeah this. you can't go back you know, people are like <laughs> trying to go by and you're like <laughs> yeah. you're on tiptoe you know yeah when I, when I was in the in michigan one time i went to go see a movie and they have a big movie theater there that's mm -hmm. all reclined seats mm -hmm. and the theater it's not related to that but the theater was completely empty it's just me and like two of my other friends i don't know what we were watching and we ordered a pizza and they oh, that's and great. they come and bring it to us and the guy walks into the theater with a the pizza and he's looking around so he doesn't know <laughs> who to give it to but you order like from within we the theater within the theater yeah but i'm saying like there's like the pizza was from the theater yeah it wasn't from, it, like, they make, no no they make okay, it at the okay. theater and then they bring oh, it to you so he's looking around he doesn't know what to do he walks up to us and he goes did you guys order the pizza and we were just like looking around like <laughs> like yeah we ordered the pizza he goes you guys aren't in the right seats and he then and he asks us to move to the row in front of us before he gives us to the pizza what, a, he gives us the what pizza. a maniac what a crazy person narc oh, my goodness didn't you go to michigan yesterday weren't you there yesterday for a wedding yeah, i was there yesterday for a wedding yeah how Who's was that uh my old roommate oh, brandon cool. no that's next year Stu. each one of my Stu is the one not getting married but three uh -huh. of my roommates colton ben and brandon are all getting married how old are yeah. these fucking guys all our age <sighs> wow yeah Wowzers! <laughs> How are they affording that? <coughs> <laughs> yeah, they the all wedding? work full time jobs, mm -hmm. and all, they all live in a house. What's that like? They all live in a house. They all live in a house. United States, ben, baby. They all own ben, their own house. Ben and Colton both own rent, their own house. They all both rent a farm property, and it's huge. Oh. And Brandon just bought. Brandon just bought a house, but his down payment was twelve thousand dollars. What did he buy a one by no, one square it, foot? It's, house? it's a decent. It's a decent sized house. Okay. Twelve thousand dollars. It's insane. Okay. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. How was the wedding? Was like? It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was in a barn. There was like line dancing. I got oh. to. I got to do. Uh, are they rednecks? I've oh, met. Rednecks. I've met Brandon, but like, are they, are they like? 
They're not rednecks. Because they like, take, why they're like, why they're are like you being a dick about it. No, no, I'm not. I'm not being. A, I'm not being a dick about it. Like, they they just slack jaw dumpster. There's, there's, there's like a difference between like rednecks and like. Can I, can I just explain why I always said they've taken him like uh, bow fishing. They always take him canoeing and like out. Oh, I understand. BMXing that. and like yeah, no, the I fields get, and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It. I just thought it was like derogatory. You know? Oh, like, if I may are rephrase, if I may rephrase yeah. for Patrick, he's asking you, Malcolm, are your friends a bunch of slack jaw dumpster fuck yokels? Exactly. Exactly. I love yokels. Did you just say that? I did. He did. I, too much yeah. I, I think it got, got masked by. Our yeah, I, I needed to get it out again. Yeah. I just feel like it would be the same thing as saying, like, you mm-hmm. know, I don't know. Are there any like sand? Were there? Were there are they sand people? Like, <laughs> Egyptian, guy, Egyptian guys. You, know? you could just be like, oh, are there yeah. southerners there? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are they like rural folk? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's rural nice. Folk. Um, I don't know. I really know how to. S- are they cowboy lovers? Are they, yeah. Do they love like westerns? Many people and... wearing cowboy boots there oh, at the sounds wedding. About right. Okay. Sounds about yeah. right. cool. Did That's you cool. do like a limbo? Like, did you go? There was no limbo. There was no limbo. Is that not just a thing line that... dancing? Just line dancing. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Michigan's Detroit, yeah. right? Yeah. That's odd. Detroit because, is in Michigan. Thanks, but I'm, what I'm saying is like <laughs> it's that Detroit. state. What I'm saying is just I never <laughs> pictured Mich- Michigan as like I never a cow poke kind of Honestly, state. I know? never pictured Michigan even existing until I went to school there. So <laughs> I mean, you know, all over America, there's rural folk all over. There the are, but like when I think of like <laughs> rural stuff like that, I'm thinking either like the South mm. or like you're thinking of the- Ohio or like one of these like Ohio's more next like- to Michigan. Is it really? It's really below? right underneath. I think right underneath. underneath. So, Matty, right, if you, when you were thinking of Michigan, were you thinking like the projects? <laughs> no. What is that you Illinois? Think about? I just figured like Detroit and then like suburbs and like either cities or suburbs. Honestly, but even there's, New York, there's, bro. Maybe even... there's a couple cities that are like way smaller than Mississauga. Other than that, there's like there's very little suburbs and it's all like rural. Yeah. You, even driving through New York, going to Manhattan, yeah. it's like all the mountain and like curved roads. You're just driving by rural folk. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <I can laughs> it's my folk. new term. Simple folk. <laughs> Simple folk. <laughs> Simple. Simple. <laughs> well, you know what it is? It's like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what patrick thinks of these people well no it's like when patrick and I, what I think weekend, for the record <laughs> when we went on our camping trip with pablo who has been on the show and uh all our other work friends the pablo and patrick and i were in one car and we were driving through some of these towns up north in ontario and shit where the we were like counting the populations to see what we could see what the lowest was and i think the lowest was 3500 yeah wow. and like and then you go to and it's like nearing 200,000 people. <laughs> now I gotta bleep that out. And then it's like you get to some of these towns, it's like 7,000, 8,000, 3,500. And we were like, everybody knows who everybody is in this town. Everybody fucks each other in this town. <laughs> it's a very interesting place to be. Mm. What do they do for entertainment out here? We also passed by a fuck Trudeau rally. Oh my God. It was, oh it was so funny. It was just in the, this random town. Mm-hmm. We just stopped by to get supplies. They had vaccine signs up. They had all like this anti-vax? anti-vax yes. stuff, anti all this. And it's like, we're driving by and we're like, what year are you guys living in? Like, we're, you know what I'm saying? Well, that was my point with the vaccine stuff where, like, there's some people that are still on the vaccine thing. I'm like, yeah. aren't we kind of done with that? I'm mm-hmm. like, didn't it sort of come and go? Mm-hmm. And I was telling Patrick, it was so frustrating because I remember saying to Patrick at the time, like, when people were, like, up in arms about, like, not even getting the vaccine, but the whole, like, mandates of, like, oh, you can't come to the movie theater. Or, oh, you can't get on a plane or whatever the mm-hmm. fuck or go to a restaurant unless you can prove you've been vaccinated. And I told Patrick... On Saturday last week when we drove past that shit, I was like, what did I fucking tell you at the time, like 2020, 2021, when we were in the thick of that shit? It's all temporary. It's not lasting forever. Like, and people are acting like, you, you can't know, prove it. The fucking big boot of the government can't has come in it. to like mm-hmm. take away everybody's freedom. And then sure enough, where do you fucking go right now where they're like, vaccine mandate, please? Do you have the receipt of you saying that? So? No, it was a personal conversation. But anyways, it was just funny because it was also to us the thing of like, it was like, you know, a nice Saturday, middle of the day, and it's like, you guys have nothing better to do than like, mm-hmm. it would be like if we were going just down go Main Street. go barbecue with your family. Have, it would have a good be time. like if we were I'm going sure down do. Main Street in yeah, town. Sorry, sorry. It would be like if we were in Main Street, like in town, just yeah. going down and by like the pond or whatever the fuck, or like out front of City Hall, there was just like, Literally, people standing there with their fuck Trudeau signs, and they lied about the vaccine, and like you know, I think I think down anti-gay here, anti-gay and all the shit, and it's like, yeah, I think <laughs> I think down here they just you slap a little bumper sticker bumper on your sticker. truck and go You're good. Yeah. Maddie, the I, I I saw Pablo when I was at a soccer game, and he he mm. mentioned when it was cleanup time at the campsite that you were kind of just. I was a little <laughs> inebriated uh, on the Monday morning, and I will admit. I was not as helpful cleaning up as I 
<laughs> probably should have been. I didn't necessarily pitch in my fair share of the cleanup. Why did he bring that up? <laughs> because I, I was a it little was. hung I just asked that, how it was. That's the first thing he said. And that was one of the things he said. <laughs> which clearly tells you that it's stuck in Pablo's craw, which is so funny. I have to talk to him. Uh, yeah, yes. I was not as helpful as I probably should have been. Was yeah, a little just, hungover. Just like when we went to the cottage. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Patrick and Pablo and I were the first ones there because the other guys got there like maybe 30, 40 minutes later than us. Mm. The three of us set the tents. And everything up. So we yeah. did all the setup. So he's as far to, as I'm concerned, he's trying to make it up. Now. Exactly. He's right though. He's as right far though. as I'm concerned, I did my fair share with the setup. It's just you know the tear down. I could have been a little yeah more yeah. useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, true. Did uh, did Bella catch the bouquet? No, that's only for single people. Wow. No, that's for people. It's not just for single people. It's for like even people and couples who aren't oh. married yet. Well, I think the, whoever was doing it, they said all the single ladies, come on on. They're oh. like, come on up. Isn't it like a thing of like if you catch? I think it's supposed to. I think it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So they just and didn't then know the, what they were I, doing. And then <laughs> the, with the the bride, my Colton, he like he, she like wears a thing on her thigh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he and like then, what is that supposed to be? I don't know. I don't know. But he like he like works in like construction or something so he brings up like a toolbox and he's opening up her skirt and he's like drilling and stuff to like make it like dramatic and then he like takes it off with his mouth yeah and then he just nasty. that's the tradition right where yeah, like the, yeah. the, the the groom has to like i'm sorry what bite it off i've never <laughs> yeah. seen this anywhere yeah. i've seen it in like movies and stuff their wedding oh is that first time i've seen it. actually that was the second time i've seen it. my family did it last year too oh I think when I... your family got married uh like my grandpa's Make niece. it up. My grandpa. My grandpa's niece. <laughs> make, make it up right now. <laughs> My grandpa's niece's second cousin's great aunt. <laughs> My grandpa's niece's goldfish's owner. Why is he lying about something so strange? Who is it? What's it? Who is it? What's it? Um, Let's get this bitch started. You right? saying yeah, the single should, ladies. Oh, I was going to bring it no, up. No, no, go ahead, no, go ahead. You said the single ladies, and it just quickly reminded me. Yesterday, Varsh and I went to this thing called the Ren Fair in Ancaster, which all it is is it's like a medieval times type thing you know what it really was it was like comic-con for medieval times nerds oh, is that by hamilton ancaster yes because it was all people dressed up in like you know nightly outfits and like women in like these old school dresses and Dude, all the shit you know they stink in their personal lives <laughs> and like some of them were even doing the more like elf <laughs> ear thing or whatever stink. so you kind of got like some of the fantasy nerds in it. and then there were all these like outdoor kind of tents and booths of people like selling all kinds of stuff there was like at the fan expo the people who sell like the real like metal swords and shit mm-hmm. So there were like some Zelda master swords, but having just finished Final Fantasy VII, they had like a big ass buster sword that was like real metal, but it was like $300. And I had seen before and they had it there, Kratos' Blades of Chaos from the Greek games, Mm -hmm. but like little rubber ones with just like some rinky dink chain connecting them. But there somebody had made like actual metal of his Blades of Chaos. It was like $200 or something, but I was like standing there holding them. They're like heavy and I'm in my hands and I'm like, I fucking want these, the masculine (laughs) urge so bad. Um, hey, but anyways, <laughs> what I bring up with the Ren Fair <laughs> is they had jousting happening at oh. the Ren Fair. And I've seen like a joust. I've never been to Medieval Times, so I feel like I've seen a joust before. I feel like there was some Wait, elementary pause. You've school. never been to Medieval Times? Me no. Neither. Have you ever been? No. Have you? No. Wait, in elementary school, it was a trip for us. See, here's the thing. I didn't go on What trips. year did you go? To, I could not, to, uh, grade six, I think. So that's the thing. I'm pretty sure at, I think it was by the time I was at, and when I had left, can't wait to cut all that. But I was in the um, saga. Cut that too. Whatever. <laughs> 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 um, We had some trip where it was like supposed to be medieval times, but it became like this bootleg like bitch ass out in some field somewhere in medieval times. Cause mm. I remember seeing guys like dressed up with like knights, but they had literally like foam swords and were fighting each oh, other. That's and so then they lame. did a joust, but it was just two guys like running at each other with like lame ass poles. So that's what I had in my head. And we get there and then these guys come out in like actual like metal knight outfits. They also had two guys like fight each other with swords, but they were like, I know it's all choreographed, but it was like legit swords because mm. they're like hitting and like sparks are flying and that's shit. Cool. So it's like, all right, cool, whatever. But they go to do the joust and the guy's like building it up and he's like on a horse talking and whatever. He's like mm. building up to like this crown or whatever. Like this is like the premier North American joust thing. Like this is real shit. These guys are actually like doing it. Blah, blah. I'm like, you know, sure, pal, whatever. <laughs> But they're on these actual giant horses, and then they're, like, getting all armored up and wearing, like, the actual, like, old school helmets where it's just, like, slits for eyes. And I'm like, how the fuck do you see it? And then they're like, so we're using, like, these real wood jousts and whatever. And then they're picking these things up, and the guy's like, yeah, and it's solid wood and blah, 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 whatever. And I'm still, like, 
up until the first joust, I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, I know this is all for show, yada, yada. There was a magician there that Varsh and I saw who was very funny and, like, you know, it was all for show, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, whatever. Then these motherfuckers start going at each other. I'm angry I didn't get any video. But they go at each other and you hear, like, it sounds like a gunshot going off of them, like, making contact with the wooden jousts mm. and those things just, like, imploding under the pressure and you see like chunks of wood go flying Are you and they're kidding? hitting each other and the guys were getting like launched off the horses and hitting the ground with like such a thud and then like one of them got up at one point and they like just held him and he was all like fucked up looking. Mm -hmm. and he was like and then they're like oh you still good to go and he was kind of like and he like got back on his way. but they were going at each other and i was like oh these guys weren't fucking kidding yeah. like this is legit they're actually like doing a joust kind of thing it was fucking like it was almost scary like i was almost watching it like mm. fucking behind my hands kind of thing mm. it was fucked up i thought i was gonna say <laughs> i was waiting because falcon sounded like he was gonna come in but mm. anyways i just wanted to get that off my chest the red fair it was like comic-con for the medieval losers. time dorks cool. for losers <laughs> you guys missed out as kids because like the medieval times as a kid they take this plate well they take you to this place and it's like really obviously rustic looking old looking and you sit in rows, and they bring you food. Turkey leg, right? It's always a turkey leg. They did have leg. that there. <laughs> oh, there, was, like that. Yeah, <laughs> there were people serving, like, the yeah. giant turkey leg that you could get. And I was like, I don't want and it. A That's beer too and much a... mess. Yeah. But they definitely had that. But, yeah, so they, they bring you, like, plates of food, and it's all people playing roles. Mm. And like Maddie described, there were sword fights, jousting, mm. and... Um, uh, there was merch and stuff, which was cool. As a kid, I got like a little sword and a shield, and I was. I did want a sword, but the problem was because even like they had at the place where they had like the real metal shit. Nah, right. They had like metal daggers and whatnot, but even those were like a little pricey. I was like, what am I gonna fucking do with a dagger? Yeah. Other than <coughs> stab your brother, kill my enemies. Oh wow! Like AKA Michael. Michael. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I guess we'll get the ball rolling. Patrick, get your <laughs> get get All the right. food ready. Get the food. Welcome back to episode 63, I think, of Wildly Adequate, the show about anything, everything, and usually nothing. Six more. Six more. Uh, I, as always, am one quarter of your host and crew, Mr. Matthew Arizo, and I am joined by Patrick, Mark, and Malcolm. Uh, if you like the show, please like, share, subscribe. Today, uh, we're getting into some Fifty Shades of Grey shit. Patrick, take it away. All right, boys. Like so, uh, I'm going to hand out a plate for everybody because you guys are blindfolded and won't be able to see. Sure. So just be patient for one second while I give you guys your plate. Oh. And you want to eat it like a dog? Oh, there's a fork on this plate. <coughs> a fork on this plate. Are you feeding us? No, I'm not. Oh. Um, Malcolm, reach out your hand. How's that going to work? And take this plate. Hey, we're forking stuff. We're forking stuff. So you guys are going to fork stuff. Right now. There's Malcolm. nothing on your plate right now. Patrick, I got two plates. Patrick, I got two plates. Uh, you can have both plates. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to be eating. Okay. You know what the fork means? What? The fork means that we're not hand-holding something. That so means you're not hand-holding anything. It's not a sandwich. Unless uh, it's just easier to fork the sandwich. I don't think so, man. <laughs> what kind of sandwich do you know that's easier to fork? Uh, maybe he cut it up in pieces. Okay, so mm. I'm I setting like up my so I'm setting up my board here right now. You guys are going to be guessing. I can't see it. The food item. Guessing okay? the food. Uh, guessing the food item. I went around town mm -hmm. to a few few spots. Mm -hmm. I picked up various different kinds of foods. Mm. Okay? okay, and uh, I want you guys to keep your ears peeled because you're going to understand the catch in just a moment. So I'm just going to write down the order in which I'm going to serve you guys. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. Yeah. You guys can riff for a second. Uh, you can what? You guys can riff for a moment. <coughs> so this old guy at the wedding gave me money. <laughs> really? I don't know why. He was, How much? I was, just talk, I was talking to him for like an hour mm. with Isabel. And he, as he walks away, he goes, all right, I can't forget this. And mm. then I walk back over and he pulls out two two dollar bills mm. and i'm like oh thanks and then he calls me back again and then he gives me two golden uh dollar mm. was he thanking you for like hanging out with him he said he, he said he had a pleasant conversation that's so sad that he feels like he has to pay you because <laughs> you spent time with him you know you guys know that guy on instagram i, th I know maddie knows him dax flame yeah mm. dax flame he's fucking hilarious he, every, he just goes up to people and i'll be like like <laughs> hey uh he's like <laughs> <laughs> it enrages me. Hey, dude, he'll, start he'll start talking to them, and then at the end of the conversation, he's like, yeah, "Here you go," and he'll just hand them like five dollars, and they'll be like, "Oh, thanks." He'll go, and he'll be like, "Here's, he'll be, yeah. here's, here's, yeah. here's my autograph," and he and he opens up his hand. It's just a little paper with it says his name and with marker on it. I like the one he goes. 
I'll give you 30 seconds to guess what movie I was in. They'll just they'll just keep going. He'll go, no. No, no, no. <laughs> you guys are going to work for a little bit longer. I'm going to step out just for a moment. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, he made a mistake. Patrick made a mistake. What did you make a mistake with? Um, I can't disclose. One second. Everybody make fun of Patrick in the comments. That's a hole in my plate. Make fun of Patrick in the comments for making a mistake. You know? You guys go on, go on. Oh. I've been watching oh. Dave. On, F- on FX, you know Dave? Yeah, Dave. It's a really funny wow. show. I'm uh, on the second season. There's actually an episode that I just watched today before I came here where he's on like a celebrity dating app because he's like, you know, becoming a famous rapper and whatever. <laughs> and he matches with Doja Cat. Mm. Oh, wow. And and she's in the episode and she's like, they're going back and forth flirting, whatever, they're going to go out. <clears throat> and throughout the whole episode, he's like, they set up the date and then she has such a busy day with like photo shoots and modeling, whatever, and doing a music video. So she forgets to respond for a long time. She's really busy, you know? And then at the end of the day, she, like, finally is starting to get, re- get ready for their date because they wanted to meet up at 7 or whatever. And she checks her phone. And throughout the day, he's been texting her. And he, like, got fed up and, and sent, like, four paragraphs just being pissed <laughs> off. Being like, hey, like, I fucking value my time. Like, I know you're busy. I'm, I'm really busy, too. Like, it's just really shitty that you never responded to me, whatever. And, like, it's so heartbreaking because, like, they're about to go out. But, like, he ruined it for himself by not chilling out, you know? <laughs> So that show's really fucking good. I recommend it to anybody who has Disney Plus. Watch it daily. Yeah. Disney. Didn't Didn't. I can't believe I feel this is definitely a topic I'm sure I had written down in my like doc note of like potential topics to do one day. Just kind of like streaming services generally. Mm. And I can't believe it's at the point now where like all of them just have ads in their shit. Disney Plus doesn't. Disney Plus doesn't. Does it not? I've watched Disney Plus. I've never seen an ad. Maybe Disney Plus. I don't think Netflix has ads. Netflix has them now because literally Varsh and I this past weekend were watching. We just started uh, Arcane finally because she watched like most of it but didn't finish it. And I've never seen it but I wanted to because everyone's like, oh, it's fantastic. First episode, real good. But like there were two ad breaks, (laughs) like one 30 second one and then one like 60 second one at random points in the episode. I guess they realized they could slip it in and like people will still watch. I don't know when I've been wa- when I've watched the bear last week and this week Dave. Um, each episode's like thirty minutes, and I hadn't I didn't have any ads. Maybe if you watch a full movie, there's ads, but I didn't get any ads. Yeah, I know Prime has it for sure at the yeah, beginning of sure. their shit, Fuck, and probably. Netflix has it now. In the middle dude, two Prime, dude. Prime put Dune two on uh, Dune Part two mm. on. Oh there. really? And I haven't seen the first one. I have to see both, but like yeah, it's on there now. Dude. Yeah, I just it's getting to the point now. It's so funny where I know people have said this, but it's just like, okay, so we're back to cable. Of just like commercials and shit. Honestly, I'll, even with the commercials, I don't. I'm not for it, but it's still better than cable, you know. Yeah, well, the, you have choices. Like the, and yeah, the more like premium shit and the choice and all that's definitely like it's definitely better than cable, but it's like in a lot of ways just at the point where it's just like cable again. What are you doing? What are you doing? And it's just like, what the fuck was the point of any of this? I hear a door open, so I, I assume back. Patrick's back. I hear I'm not near my mic. Patrick's not near I hear his a mic. Box with something are we gonna use any of this? Will I cut all of this? Who knows. We'll see what happens. Whoo! Okay. And Who's we're ready? back. Who's ready for round one, boys? I'm too I'm ready. So Let's ready. Do it. I'm way too ready. I didn't actually have dinner or anything. Me so neither. Like... I'm super hungry. Oh, there you go. Oh. Maybe, we, maybe we grab food after this. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to want to grab food after this, Patrick? Uh, probably, yeah. So I'm not going <coughs> to be satiated. You're not going to be satiated. Okay, you? well, get fucked. You can't break the bank doing this. I hear a bag oh. rustling. Oh, oh. I'm so, I'm so excited right now. The room definitely smells now. I smell food in the air. There's something in the air. Something it's in subway. my food, eight brain food, is... Food, please. Okay, this is how it's going to work. I knew that's what I smelled mm. when you got here. How's it going to work? Break it down. So, it's not too you guys are going to guess what... I should probably say this into the mic right Sure. That would help. Oh, my God. You guys are going to say what food you think it is. Mm-hmm. And I, as you guys know, I got... The food from various places in town. Mm-hmm. If you can also guess where the the food is from, uh-huh. that's bonus points. All okay. right, mm-hmm. all right, let's do it. How many foods you got? Uh, we're gonna have seven rounds. Wow! 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 wow. <laughs> but you didn't get the same food from all these places. No. Okay. They're all different places. Uh, Malcolm's getting impatient. <laughs> And an an eclectic selection. Right, here. <laughs> right there. Put the I'm food here. right there. My plate's here. I'm about to eat this plate. Is the plate edible? Or are you Mr. Wonka? I can't believe there's nothing on our plate yet. I, I also I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just scrolling through I on think his he's phone. He's just standing there. 
Mm-hmm. Just staring at us. This is the problem with the this whole this whole topic is just gonna be him looking at us like we're fools. Yeah, there's no we're food. food. There's, there's no. no food. The topic is there's no food. It's just gonna see how long it, he can make it last. It's, it's like one of those videos where someone goes to like a a grocery store and says, "Hey, we want five hundred dollars for the head under the arm challenge." I'm sorry. Is he playing the bongos <laughs> right now? What is he doing? There's a lot of smacking and slapping. What are you? What could you possibly be doing? Need help? I'm having trouble with the food right now. Uh oh, he's having trouble. I just want you to know, Patrick, I'm wearing white shorts right now, so if you fucking get hey, sauce on these, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my he needs god. Us to what are you again. doing? See, I was Sorry. debating cutting our riffing and just like cutting back where Patrick's like, all right, let's go. But now that he's doing this again, it's become so bonkers that I'm just gonna leave it all in so that the people at home can dude, see. Dude, these blindfolds are hurting my eyes, dude. They, they... I just wanna eat. And take this off. I had a productive day today. Varsh and I cleaned my car. Uh, so that was very good. We cleaned the inside. It's all nice and smooth. I'm sure she had a fun there. time doing that. You know what? I told her, I was like, listen, I got to clean my car. It's a nice day. I said, you can just hang out. And she's like, no, I want to help. I was like, literally, I'm, like, I'm not asking you're you to. No, you're, no, Maddie's lying about what she said. I'm like, I'm not asking you to. You don't. And she's like, no, like, I'll help, blah, blah, blah. And we cleaned the car. It's good. I was going to take it to the car wash, but then the I'll gas station you. one was hey, fucking. Guys, George Green's entering the room. Oh, hey, whoa. Hey, What's He's up? coming to assist me here. He's coming to <laughs> assist. Is that how tough of a time you're having? Now I'm like, my mind's racing. Oh my god. What is going on? Why, Pat? Are we blending? Are we blending again? Yeah. Why? No. Are we blending? No. Why are we blending? I thought you were, we were going to enjoy this experience. Oh god, it's like blended pizza all over again. God. Oh Jesus. Why are you ruining the food, Patrick? Why, why did he have to do this to us? George, is he is he ruining the food? No, no, no. <laughs> so it's like that. Mm-hmm. You making us coleslaw? <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm excited. I'm angry. Or disappointed now. Hi, George. Thank you. Bye. Oh. There you go. Okay. Another one How's of our angry? parents is on the show. Why, why are you blending? All oh, right. So I don't want to play. My hands are out like a small Same. English orphan child ready to receive. Can I mm, have it some like pizza more in here, doesn't it? And as usual, I have doesn't it smell like Does pizza? Trying sure? to get a whiff. Is there food on this plate? On plate yeah. Can I eat it now? You can just wait for <laughs> others to grab okay, it. I'll wait. All right. I have no idea if I'm actually getting anything in and Malcolm, thank you for leaning over. Make sure not to look at your plates, boys. Well, actually, I almost just did it, but I didn't. But I can't. I can't see though. I think I've got food on this. Floor. I'm so angry. Why are we blending it? Why are we blending it? I'm so sorry. He's blending. Blending. Are you are you blending, blending everything? Are you saying sorry because you know it's bad? I'm sorry because it smells like pizza. It's laboring. But are you blending everything? Oh my god, this is fucking. <laughs> Am I blending everything? Yeah. Maybe. I... Like, is that the goal of this? Patrick, I got something on my fork. Patrick, I, I, yeah, I, have, I have a guess as to where it's from. Okay, ready? Okay, you guys all have food. You guys okay. may I begin eating. Okay, ready, Patrick? Let's do yeah, it. Go for it. Right. Can you guys pick this up? Oh, my God. Mm. You got it, you got it, Mom. <laughs> Can I say? No. Please? Take a few bites. Take a few bites. I'm just looking it off the side of the plate because I can't pick it up. I hate this consistency. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Who, 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 who gets to start? Can I start? I think uh, it's, it's, uh, go ahead. it's pepperoni pizza from Pizzaville. I'm also going to toss I out Pizzaville pizza. I concur. Wow. Okay. All three of us, Pizzaville pizza. Are we sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I mean, pretty, that's pretty specific, too. I'm, I'm going to devour this thing. <laughs> oh. Is that, now what? You so now I'm going to I'm gonna get you guys to round two now. You oh, you're not going to tell us yet? I'm not going to tell you guys. Wow. Right How do you, are you keeping track? I'm keeping track. track, yeah. I'm keeping track of what you guys are saying. Can you not blend the next thing? You are going to just hold on for the ride, is what you're going to do. Patrick, Stay. genuine question. Why, why couldn't we guess stuff in, in its original form? Just for fun. Okay. Who's not, fun? It's not fun. Who's fun? Right. Oh shit! Are you taking I'm my plate? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, take your fork, please. Oh, I got it. Is, that, is there food on here? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. All right, your plate. Okay. Mark, thank you. You know what I haven't had in a while? Lasagna. Uh, that too, but I am craving like a Philly cheesesteak, you know? Mm. I literally like never crave that ever. Well, Same. That's the, difference, that's the difference between you and me. <laughs> is it, Patrick, is any of this food going to be like gross if I use my hand? Uh, maybe. Is it going to be gross in my mouth? Because I kind of just want to... Oh, interesting. Okay, Patrick, can we go? And everyone has food, you may go. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. It's like a prisoner. It's at the back of your plate, Mark. Wow. Like, like like here? Yes. Oh. Oh, that's, come on. Come on. Why don't you eat this like a dog? Mmm. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 This doesn't work. Patrick, we have spoons. I have no spoons for you. I'm sorry. Can I go first this time? Yeah, you can go first. McDonald's french fries. Okay. McDonald's french fries. McDonald's french fries. Come on, boys. <laughs> Mix it up Mark, here. Who are we? <laughs> I'm glad we? Mark asked to go first because I wanted to go last because I knew I had it dead to rights. And I was like, I don't want to give it away in case anybody else is like a little stumped. Nobody's getting this wrong. I'm kind of peeking now just so I can eat it properly. In that, um, in that uh, spirit, for the next round, we'll go all three at once. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll say everything at once. <clears throat> Oh, what? Main location. Patrick, no, no, no. One of them. Patrick, how about you do three, two, one? Can you say the food all together? Yeah. And then the second three, two, one, the, the, the place. Oh, okay, sure. Because then it's not jumbled. True, 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 true. Okay. That's what we'll do. Mm. That was yummy. Give me more that. Give me. Give me. All right. Next. You, guys, you guys can riffle Life's and get this good, next round, right? No more nonsense. Okay, this one is not going to be a triple. Pleasant? No, no, it's gonna be pleasant, but it's oh. not gonna be. It's gonna be pleasant. It's gonna be pleasant. Thank goodness. But it's not gonna be what? You guys aren't gonna get it. I don't think. How do wow. You know Why do you He's think that? He's challenging us. If there are wings in here, oh my gosh. He's gonna blend wings. Uh, you think? Plate. Oh. Bonus, maybe. Mark, your plate, please. Give me food. I don't like grabbing it. Can you give me food. Maybe a health, a health health that's a good. That's a Please. good call with the smell test. My nose is kind of plugged, so it's not doing me very good right now. I hope you're not eating that yet, Maddie. You oh, are. I was about to. Have it. You know what it is? From the smell, I have it. Okay. Honestly, I forgot to account for smell. I'm not gonna lie to you. For the from the I was smell. Say, the smell seems very nostalgic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I spilled something on me. Begin? Oh, I already know. Oh, it's so easy, baby. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup. Patrick, who do you think? Patrick, who do you think we are? <laughs> We're gross people. <laughs> I've had plenty of these in my day. One time I had six in one sitting. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> all right, let's do the food all together in three. No, Patrick, you can do the countdown. Three, two, one. Junior, Junior chicken. chicken. Okay. We don't even say where it's from. McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> now I'm gonna eat it. Boys enjoy that while I get the next round ready. You know what threw me off about this is that it smells like a junior chicken, but I wasn't getting any like Dude, this lettuce. Dude, beautiful, Patrick. Does it? Mm. I wasn't getting any like lettuce or mayo or anything. And I was like, it smells like a junior chicken, but I'm not getting the lettuce and mayo in my mouth. I'm not getting that white creamy goodness in my mouth. Oh no. That I'm so accustomed to. You I know? love their mayo. You're on your belly button? I can't stop getting Malcolm. I can't stop getting the creamy white goodness in my belly button. It just pools there, you know. Okay, this next one for sure you're not gonna get. Don't believe you. For sure, I know this for sure for a fact. It's a, it's a Wendy's baconator. On my, I would be so happy it was a baconator right now. Oh my god, Patrick, do you keep turning your mic on and off? Yeah. Just leave it on. Uh, I mean, if I have to cut. Happy it out, day, huh? Mm-hmm. Happy day. I mean, so far, so good. You know, it still has potential to fucking fall off. Oh, the yeah. Let's see if he nails the blender like he thinks he's going to. I'm going to nail it. All right, here we go. All right, three. Hold on, hold on. I'm not ready to blend yet. He's giving you, he's giving you a countdown. <laughs> three. All right, five seconds, Patrick. Four. Three. Two. One. Junior chicken. Junior chicken. Junior chicken. Junior chicken. I'm going to be honest. When I smelled it, I thought it was a cheeseburger, and then as soon as I put it in my mouth, I knew junior chicken. Mm. Mm. It was junior chicken from the second it got near my nose. Mm. 
He kind of yapped so long that I don't know if he actually got the blender going like well, or if, no, he, well, well. Or if he was like stalling for time and then started it. You know. <sighs> All right. Take a shot every time I touch my my uh, mask. Mm. Please, this, this sir. This like... Can I have what does it look some like? Ball? What exactly does the it look like? The junior chicken blended up. I took a peek from below my thing. It looked like a gourmet meal. <laughs> <laughs> it, looked it, like it looked like couscous. Gourmet. It looked like couscous. Junior chicken couscous. Oh, this is heavy, Patrick. What I are you giving? <coughs> May I also have a healthy Me? serving? You also have a healthy serving. Very good. It's a lot mushier. You eating it already? I'm touching it with my hand. With your hands, wow. Yeah, I'm using texture because it helped me with the fries because I just picked up a whole yeah, is fry. Is that cheating, Patrick? Sorry? Is that cheating it's that he touched cheating. them? Is it cheating? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's probably. No, I'm kidding. It's not cheating. No, it's cheating. It's, it's blended up, so use Yo, that's big. Can we go? Yes. Uh, well, I haven't given Malcolm the food, but you can go if you want. Hey, come on. All right, Malcolm. You got the least amount, Malcolm. Sorry. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Why is this so distinct? This tastes familiar, but I can't put a finger on it. Kind of gross. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Malcolm sounds pretty confident over there. What is that? Yeah, baby. Can I go? Patrick, have I had this before? Yes. Because it's so familiar, but I can't... Why can't I fucking place it? I'm ready. No, wait. Oh, yeah. Eat, eat that up. Mm. Um, is there any in? Um, yep. Yeah. What the fuck is this? You know, I'm kind of cheating looking at it. No! <laughs> What is this? He's I, still, honest. I still don't know. <laughs> Bro, it's fucking... I'm okay, so I'm completely, absolutely are we ready. ready. For, to guess food? Yeah, I sure. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Shawarma. Tuna, 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 tuna sub or some shit. Okay, Mark says tuna sub. Mark, Malcolm, what do you say? Shawarma. Malcolm says shawarma. Right. Maddie, taco. A taco. Okay, let me just record those real quick. Osmos. Mark says tuna. But there were veggies in it. Oh, unless it was a fucking wrap. Tuna. And, uh, Taco. It is chicken, isn't it? Okay. Place. Now, can I give you my place? Yeah. Three, two, one. Osmos. osmos. What did I say? Tuna sub, so Subway, probably. Subway? I don't think it was a uh, I'm going to toss out Osmos because I think my food answer was wrong, but I'd like to make up points <laughs> on the a cheating location. Dude, this is totally chicken. I don't know why I thought it was tuna. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Fuck, the veggies kind of threw me off, but then I was like, ah, oh, you probably got a wrap. I'm used to just getting it on fries, the way God, the way Allah intended. <laughs> <laughs> the way Allah intended. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was an interesting round. Honestly. The way the good I, messenger delivered. I, I liked, I liked the guesses because the guesses were pretty decent. Mm -hmm. You said taco, right, Matt? I did. You know what it was? Because it was, I was trying to tell if it was like beef or chicken, or like, and then there was veggies in there. So that's why I was thinking if it was like a taco with all kinds of shit I in there. Malcolm nailed it. But I think Malcolm, as soon as Malcolm said shawarma, I was like, fuck. That's yep. A, that's a top tier. That's a big dick I'm energy I'm a dirty guess. boy. But I didn't get like any garlic. This next round's going to be unfair for Matthew. And why? that's all I'm going to say. Unfair in my favor? Unfair Is not, in your, this from the not uh, in your favor. Not in your favor. Ah, shit. Uh, and dubs. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Very good. Very good. Are we about to get a junior? Or no, not a junior. What's it called? A, a buddy, buddy burger. burger. No, what, what, what? Yeah, he's blending up a buddy burger. <laughs> I wish I could see Patrick's face right now. I was going to say, at first, I don't want to drink like, it, Patrick. It sounded like Patrick was <laughs> just blending sludge. I don't want to drink it, Patrick. The second mm -hmm. I smell it, game over. It's concrete. Yeah. Malcolm needs his sense of smell. I need my sense of touch. That's why I need to finger the plate. Here you go. Did food just hit sorry, my fucking I'm legs? So sorry. I fucking <laughs> felt something. Like, son of a bitch. It's it all over mm. his mouth. It's mm. an interesting scent. 
this is so this is such a big piece of whatever the fuck this I is. I gave Maddie the most, unfortunately. Sorry guys. See, unfortunately because we know what it is and he doesn't. No. Because I didn't mean to give him the most. And that's what you mean. Mm. Yeah, I'm not getting Maybe it's not a buddy. Mm. Oh, this is, Maybe wow. it's not our buddy. This is like very sticky. Mm. Okay, yeah. Ew. <laughs> what is that? I know what it is, I can't Patrick. I can't okay. smell it. But I just don't know where. Mm. How granular do you need me to get with this? It's gross, isn't it? Granular. I don't like that. Okay, so, but for the first one, I said, like, pizza. Is oh, that wait. fine, or do I have to be, like, oh, pepperoni? Oh, for, the, for the food guests? No, it's yes. to go macro. Okay. I don't know. Because I know what it is. I just don't know from sure from know where. I'm almost certain. Interesting. There's there's enough flavors in here that I know what I'm getting. Where's this from? That's the question. I know what it is. What the hell? How? <laughs> I'm not enjoying this experience. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys ready to guess? No. Nope. Yeah. Okay, we'll give Mark a little bit longer. Okay, got it. <sighs> okay, three, two, one. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Okay. What'd you say, Maddie? Burger. Fuck you. <laughs> Because there's pickles in here, there's onions in here. I'm getting flavor profiles. It's a burger, but the question is where. Okay. And that's and that's where Poppy comes in. You know what I mean? And uh, let's go ahead for the place. Three, two, one. Don's. A and W. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. We got some. We got some Don's in this bitch. Could it really be? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mark. I said McDonald's. 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 Fuck. I'm not, I'm not the flavor confident. profile is so distinct. The smell, the smell got me. I smelled it. And I was like, that, it smelled like a cheeseburger. It's got that McDonald's taste to it. That's a McDo that's a McDonald's cheeseburger with the works on it. It's got everything on there: cheese, pickles. Maybe it was a Big Mac without the buns. Actually, no, you would have the sauce. Yeah, maybe cheeseburger. Yeah, yeah. Big Mac sauce. That's right. Patrick's rummaging around. Actually, don't bags don't blend everything. Leave some genuine, good intact there's, there's food. Some genuine. There's some genuine. Let's go. Well, we know there's pizza. So. <laughs> That's right, Maddie. Yeah, like there so. is some pizza. Get fucked. Here. You weren't hiding the pizza. We all got it right. How many rounds have we got left? Two. Uh, two. Wow. All right. well, this and one more. This one. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're nearing the end. Oh my god, he's gonna blend this dollar store gummies. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be fun to blend. Real Hold fruit juice. Oopsies. <sighs> he's fucking up the blender. Feeling again. heavy over here. He's really Thick fucking up the blender. Again. There were cupcakes at the wedding last night. And oh oh yeah. my god, Mark and Maddie, yep. they're so good. Yep. Cupcakes. I like a good cupcake every now and then. My brother got crumble cookies the other day. Oh mm. yeah. Super mid. <laughs> mid? Super mid? No. It's overrated, bro. No, no, no. It's so delicious. Can I be honest? Yeah. If I may throw you're not a, a hot You're not take. a cookie guy, and I know this. The more time goes on, the more I think... <laughs> 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 like cake... Cupcakes, <laughs> cookies, brownies, they're all really good. Shut up, and when you get like top tier shit, absolutely delicious, unfucking deniable. But I find that I don't crave those things. You know? I'm not like craving those things ever. Honestly, man, there's a lot of garbage out there. Or like going out of my way to get them. It's more like I'm somewhere and someone's like, there's cookies here, there's cake here. But it's not That's like... That's I go crazy. It's not like chocolate or like candy or even like snack foods, which I know isn't like one-to-one, -one, where I'm like, I need this thing in my body right now. Yeah. It's But like with that kind of stuff, like I'm never like, I need to go get brownies right now or a cupcake or like I'm a kill a bitch, you know? Patrick, have you got any sweets in, in this uh, in this roulette? I was thinking about it, but I was like, nah, we'll save sweets for another. Another God, if you Patrick, mushy. if you blended a cake. No, I'm not going to blend it. No, no, no. A cake. Oh, okay. Brownie okay. blend, baby. Maybe. Blend. Maybe. Where's my mic? Yo, my blend an ice cream cake. Huh? Your fork, it's on your plate. Oh yeah. my God, that's so distinct. <sighs> Can I take a bite? Uh, I haven't given off this one. Go ahead if you want. Wait, you guys already have yours? That was quick. What the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wow, that's the Oh! Uh, that's so distinct. 
Oh, I, I know that smell. I think I've got it. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> Ew, this is gross. <laughs> I don't like you guys like that. Yeah. It's not how I would prefer to eat it. But I think I think I know what it is. Oh, I know it. You went there. Not when you went there. Are you guys ready to guess? Or? No, no. Who's ready? I am ready. Oh, I just got a notification. I don't think I'm filming anymore. Great. I know this now. And, and, I, and I didn't cheat. I know what this is. I know what this is. You know what? That's okay. Let's me work with the wides. Makes the whole editing process much easier. Not gonna complain. Patrick, yeah. can I petition something? Go ahead. Can we start with the place on this one? Oh, uh, Cause no. I, cause I know the damn place. Okay, you know what? Sure, we can start. Off. I know the place. I'm gonna lose my mind if I go back to my phone after, cause I just hit play on it again. Yeah. <sighs> Hold on. I'm gonna lose my mind if it's okay. not. Can you take my plate for a second? Go ahead. I'm locked. <sighs> what are you doing, Matty? Uh, just for Patrick's sinking. camera again, B cam. Just you, not you take your blindfold off? No, no, he the, didn't. Inside the where the fuck's the mic? There it is. Inside baseball court. Okay, hopefully that won't fall. I didn't hear a loud crash. Is, is this my plate that you put in my car? Did you get the food that you dropped earlier? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you sure about that? Uh, maybe. Malcolm, you know what this Okay, do you guys want to start with the place? Yeah, let's do the place first. Okay, three, two, one. Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Interesting. Taco Bell. Ah, oh, Taco Bell. Malcolm, you didn't say Taco Bell? No, he can't, cl he can't claim it He can't now. claim it. He can't okay. claim it. He can't claim you, it. Yeah. What do we do now? What okay, is this? and the food? Three, two, one. Taco. Tacos. Malcolm? Soft I, shell I, taco. You just don't know? I don't. I just didn't know. I'm going to admit it. He's going to admit okay, it. Okay, there Malcolm's we go. He's going to take the loss on this one. Okay. Last round. <laughs> now I'm looking at it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. No, Malcolm, Ma Maddie Beaker. Maddie, based on the look, the you did well. marker is near your, sh like, it's closed. Oh, like, God. The whiteboard is near your shorts. Oh, Beaker. God. Okay. Oh, God. Why you uh, fart, bro? I tooted, <laughs> that I was tooted, Maddie. I tooted in fear. I know fear. it was Maddie, dude. <laughs> Fucking trying to eat my plate right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah, that's fine. Dude. <laughs> I, I had to toot in fear. <laughs> This is now Patrick's Krispy Kreme donuts. Krispy Kreme donuts. Patrick's gonna get sweets, crazy and blend up crickets. I'm gonna kiss you if it's a baconator. What's Patrick. left? You hit Taco Bell. You hit McDonald's. I know what's left. No. You hit potentially shawarma. Patrick, I had a feeling you were doing a food topic. I should have just followed your location on your phone to see where you're going. Wow. Right. You can uh -huh. I say something? Yes. Mm. I have a feeling what this. I, kn I think I know what this is based on what he hasn't done yet and the way the the sound was when he blended it. Wow, you're insane. <laughs> I'm fucking. De I'm, insane. Dude, I'm Sherlock, dude. I know it. You gotta your blood hound. Sit back, Malcolm. I don't sit up. Cause Patrick said, "Sit down, bloodhound." I'm not sitting. I'm not sitting up. I'm just leaning. I see your shadow. Lean it in. I see your shadow. Matt, Mark, can I get your plate? Yeah, but yeah, buddy. Some blood touching it. I'm touching yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the last one. It's mush. I'm not getting anything from the touch. Good call, man. The Eddie. touch is not helping me. Well, that's a scent. Malcolm. I think I know where it is based just off the scent. Me too. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. It's so distinct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Patrick. I know your games. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There's only one place that smells like that. <laughs> oh, my God. I was right. <laughs> I, was, I was right. Patrick, I fucking knew it, dude. I knew it. Is it better than Popeye's? Nope. It's real damn good, though. That's for sure. Oh, wait. I was wrong. Fuck right up my mouth. Malcolm just gave it to me. I right over my goddamn stinky mouth. Are you sure he gave it to you? No. All right, last round. Let's guess the food first. Yep. I think I got it. Yep. Okay, three, two, one. Chicken, chicken. tendies. Okay, 
chicken of some sort. Okay. Yeah, and I, mean, I mean it's fried chicken. I don't fried, know. What, yeah. I don't know what form, but yeah, that's fine. That's fine. The answer is fine. Okay. And place three, two, one. KFC. KFC. Oh, I was gonna say something else, but Malcolm gave it to me. Good job, Malcolm. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say McDonald's because I thought it was the Nuggets. Damn it! Tastes nothing like McDonald's Nuggets. I know. Did you get blindfolds off? Yes, you can. <sighs> wow. Holy, I'm sweaty. I was running around for that oh, topic. Jesus Christ. Woo. Oh, God, it's light. bright in here, huh? Woo. Okay. <coughs> I felt like I was going to fucking fall asleep. Round one, as you guys know, you guys were correct. Yeah. Round two, on the dot, fries. Yep. Three. Fries from where? From McDonald's, McDonald's. you guys said. Three, chicken burger, junior chicken. You yep. guys got it right, from McDonald's. Four. You might have got that wrong, didn't you? No, no. Everyone Everybody got, got that? Everyone got number three right as well. Junior chicken. Mm-hmm. Okay, four. Mark said tuna. Malcolm said shawarma. Maddie said taco. The correct answer was shawarma. Fuck. From where? From Osmos, which All both right. Maddie and Malcolm said. I cheated on that one. Round five. You guys all said hamburger. Yep. You all said different places, ranging from A&W to McDonald's. The it's correct McDonald's. answer was Wendy's. Wow. No! What? Wow. Plot twist. <laughs> I thought cheeseburger was a McDonald's cheeseburger for <laughs> I did sure. Too. Number six. No wonder it was so mid. The only person that didn't get the food was Malcolm. Mm-hmm. And it was Taco from Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. You got that. Mm-hmm. And oh, lastly, Maddie? chicken tenders. Maddie. Chicken tenders, everyone got that correct. So okay. who won? All right. Uh, so I mixed up Malcolm and Maddie. So just give me one second to... Well, hold on. You said the first three rounds we all got. The first three rounds you guys all got. So that's six points. I think Maddie won by one. Actually, no. Thir- no. Fourth round. Um, fourth round was shawarma, but so Malcolm got two, which would put him at eight. <coughs> me at one point would be seven. That's right. Huh? Hamburger we all okay, got, yeah. which would be nine, Malcolm, eight, me. That's right. Go for Bring it. Some food over. Bring it over. Then... Some chicken tendies. Is that what you're doing? Tacos. So it's 9 8, but then I got, excuse me, tacos yeah, and Taco Bell, right? Mm-hmm. So that would put me at 10 9. Okay. And then yeah, I'm happy. Malcolm and I each got a point. You won by one. Let's go. Dead. I won by a point. Fuck you, Malcolm. I, I fucking knew it. Eat oh my shit. God. You got. Oh, yeah. Oh, What's yeah. my prize, Patrick? Uh, your prize is to eat the leftovers with the guys. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, he gave me. I only ordered two. He gave me four. So I was like, oh. Where is uh, who wants pizza? It's beef taco. Pizza, please. Now that we stuff our faces. Anyways, that's a topic, right? That's a topic, yeah. All right, oh. moving on. All right, let me get this place cleaned up real quick. So I think a lot about like self-perception. Just like how I think of myself and if I feel like I know myself or not. Yeah. And then like I was thinking sometimes I feel like I, I know myself really well and I know what kind of personality traits I have and like, you know, I just feel like I understand myself. And then other times I feel like I have no idea who I am and like, I need somebody else to tell me who I am and like what, what, what I'm like. And like, so I got recently asked a coworker, I was like, do you think I'm extroverted or introverted? Cause I really didn't know. Like, I feel like sometimes I'm extroverted. Sometimes I'm like shy. So I, I was just thinking about that. And I wanted to ask you guys, like, I'm just curious to see if you guys, think of how you like how you think about yourself do you think that you know yourself like is your level of self-awareness high do you think or do you feel like you don't know yourself as well as other people you know because for me i'm like on the fence like i feel like sometimes because i reflect so much i do know a lot about myself and Mm -hmm. other days i just don't know yeah Yeah. i had an encounter at work recently actually um so matthew and i are supervisors at work Mm -hmm. and so we oversee various amounts of staff and uh, i um I was covering a shift and one of the staff members that um, I used to supervise came up to me and somehow it came out that she was like, oh, like I was super afraid of you when I first started. Mm. I've had that happen too. And I was like, huh? She was like, yeah, I was really afraid of you. And uh, the other supervisor that was with me, I, we were, there were two supervisors on the shift. She was mm. like, yeah, Patrick, that's like a popular opinion. A lot of people don't like you because they <laughs> think you're scary and they think that you're mean kind of mm. thing. I was like, oh, I never knew people. When I was, um, when I first started off as a supervisor, I was uh, all, like really by the books. I'm sorry, a helicopter is passing yeah, by sorry, the building. A, sorry, guys. 
I was really by the books when I first started. So I understand like that perception of like, okay, this guy's like a little strict, mm. but like mean and scary. Yeah. So that definitely caught me off. And I was just thinking back to how I, I guess, handled people. And she, so there's this thing that we do uh, where if there's like some new instructors, we mm. usually like hop in and we help them out. Mm. And that can be intimidating for a new employee to have like a supervisor hop in with you and help you out with a class. Sure. sure. But at the end of each like session that I help with someone, I sort of tell them like, hey, this is stuff you can improve on, but good work. Mm. And so this girl's talking back to me. She's like, oh, when you did that, you basically said I was a garbage instructor. And I was like, I'm sorry. I've never said those words verbatim to anybody mm. before. And she goes, no, you basically said that. And I remember like after that shift, I went into my car and I cried. Goodness. And I was like, oops. What, I'm... what did you say that you said? You said? Oh, for a second, I thought you were saying, sorry. For a second, I thought you were saying you went into your car and cried. No, and I was going to be like, Jesus, Patrick. Like, no. Not that serious. No. But okay, yes, me. this person, this person. This person. And what did she say that you said, though? She didn't know what I said. She said it was something along the lines of like, you didn't directly say I was a bad instructor, but you, but you were saying I was a bad instructor. And then I just said to her, I give everyone feedback on how to improve. I do that with everybody. Mm-hmm. So 99% chance you misinterpreted what I said. Mm. I didn't say you were a bad so instructor. So you guys the shit out of her. <laughs> so yeah, that was definitely an instance <laughs> where I was like, I thought I knew myself, but it came out that there's just this whole other perception of me. Mm-hmm. You bring that up work. and it's funny because I've had that same thing where there was somebody who's been on my Thursday night shift basically since I've had that shift. Mm-hmm. So at least a year and a half, like maybe two by this point, I forget who at one point, this was like a few months ago, had like mentioned to me like, oh yeah, sometimes I get like nervous or like scared to ask you things or whatever just because I'm like worried about like this, that, and the other thing. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I... I, I, I get it. I'm like, I come in <laughs> I come in every week and I'm just very like, you know, kind of laissez-faire and like as long as everything's running smoothly and you're doing your thing, like I'm not up people's asses kind of thing, mm-hmm. you know, like what do you mean you're like worried kind of thing? It's just a odd perception. Yeah. So I think there's granular things like that, that I'm sure I don't think about or know, or like couldn't possibly know mm-hmm. that I'm sure pe- other people might have a more clear idea, let's say, but I think generally speaking, I'm pretty confident in my like self perception and self-knowledge of like yeah i know what i'm working with i feel like sometimes i think yeah i think it depends on the situation for sure i think maybe like when meeting new people you don't know maybe you know, sure when you're like you're not sure how they're taking you maybe they're, they're having a weird day and i don't know whatever mm-hmm. um but i feel like with that stuff like i'm what i'm trying to think about like work for me i don't i don't feel like i have that problem at work like i feel like if if i was like tasked with explaining how my other coworkers view me I think I'd pretty much nail it. I feel like I mm. feel like I know myself and how I'm perceived at work. Um, I guess there's like two different topics here, like self perception and then like, I guess um, I don't know if self perception is a different thing than how you think other people perceive you. You know what I'm saying? Well, that is own di- self perception versus other people's versus your conception, but not just, but not versus just, your idea of other people's. That's right. It's that's like a oh, it's thing. like it's, it's like there's like layers of like yeah. yeah not just other people's perception like what you think other people's perception of you is yes. are or is yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. yeah so like I feel like I feel like I'm really good at one of those things which I think is I think is I feel like I'm good at reading how other people perceive me I feel like generally mm-hmm. and I feel like sometimes I'll have this inkling of something and it'll be true and mm-hmm. like the person did feel like I was being weird and and afterwards they admit it to me or. I get I get an inkling that someone might be like interested in me or whatever, and then like afterwards it comes out that it was true, like, I, or maybe that I feel like they're really turned off of me and that it was like true. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that is one thing that I'm good at, but like self awareness, I feel like it's like hit and miss. Some like I said, some days I feel like I don't know myself at all, and I'm like, what what am I even like? Who am I really? Like, how would I describe myself? Yeah, there was a student that was doing research actually on this topic at okay. school. Yeah, and he found that. Um, so he, he basically ran a study mm-hmm. and it was on Zoom and he was interested in how people perceived themselves and how they thought other people perceived them. He did a few experimental manipulations, but he basically found that those who had higher levels of anxiety uh, were more uh, accurate at um, 
or more self-aware, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, <coughs> so I hope I wasn't misquoting his results. So I found that super interesting. I think it's like people who are like have more anxiety are like, well, that would have been paying more attention to that stuff. Hyper fixated. Even exactly. without you saying that, that was my like, as soon as Mark was bringing that up, that yeah. was my assumption off the bat of like, yeah. I would assume people who are like anxious and paranoid or whatever and all that are yeah. like more kind of like aware of themselves. It also could it try and like avoid, you know. Yeah. I think things. it depends. Like, what if you're like overly anxious? That's and, and what. You're, and you're misunderstanding yourself and you're. Attributing things to yourself that aren't true. That, sure, but that I was think my like intuition. a baseline anxious person. Mm. These are elevated levels of anxiety, though, is what he found. Like yeah. beyond mm. normal. Le like th we're talking about people bordering on. Well, he, he's not he, a clinician, so we can't but how's he, sure how's he diagnose. How is he gauging whether it was correct or not? Like the perception, I mean. Like, a, a, let's say he's testing like how you perceive yourself, and the people with the most anxiety perceive themselves most accurately. Like, how would you know if it's accurate or not? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Uh, like how would he, how would how would he know how would he know if they were correct on other people's perception? Like oh I know that I get that one that makes sense. Oh, he interviews okay. other people, whatever. Yeah. And like, so and he, then they he, line up. He gets information from them and other people. Mm. Is uh, and if there's and, a lot of like lining up, and then if there's a lot of overlap, mm. that was my understanding of his experiment. Mm. I could uh, could ask him if you guys are interested. And we yeah. can. There's also the study that we did together. Yeah. Uh, do you guys remember that on Zoom? I do. Mm -hmm. Another one of my friends, he actually did that study and he presented it. So if you mm. guys want to know the results, I can call him. No, that's okay. But I, I yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like um, I don't know. I f I feel like sometimes, and I've talked about this before. I feel like I have to almost fake fake it yeah. until I make it in a way. Like I have to, and I don't think there's any shame in this personally. I think like I I'm try I try to sometimes to think about the kind of person that I want to be, and then I like consciously work towards that. You know, because mm. I don't think I don't know. To me. I don't necessarily believe in the idea of just being authentically yourself, 100%. To me, it's like, yeah, but you're borrowing things from other people all the time. You're growing up, you're watching movies, you're watching TV shows, you're like, you hear someone's voice and you're like, I like the way they speak, I want to kind of take this line or this cadence or whatever, sure. or this slang, or uh, I don't like that and I'm going to try to do the opposite of that, or, you know, I don't know, I, I feel like sometimes it's it's an interesting conversation to think about like, the kind of person that I want to be, and then I'm like, am I am I going down the right path um, from from my own perspective, or am I kind of like being a person that I don't want to be? Like, you know, I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys ever think like that. If you ever think about who you want to be, and you like consciously try to be that way, because I again, last thing I'll say about that is like, I know when, when Maddie and I were talking about this on the podcast at some point, like about like what you feel like you're naturally good at versus what you have to try to be good at. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you guys remember that one, but like. Yeah. I was talking about like being funny, for example, and how I feel like I would never really be funny ever un un unless I th consciously thought, hey, like make a funny joke or try to say something that's funny. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, like I, I would naturally think certain things, but like I have to like push myself to say those things and to like have the courage to just say something. So I feel like I'm curious to hear you guys' perspectives on like that idea of pushing yourself to be who you, you think you should be versus like, you know, how you'd be if you weren't trying anything. If you were just kind of like letting yourself putting yourself on like auto cruise, like how would you end up being versus like what you want to be? Yeah, well, I mean, couldn't one argue if you are trying to do it, then that is your authentic self manifesting? Like, couldn't you argue that? Some you could argue that, or you could even argue the opposite of like if you're trying to do it, then that's not who you are. Mm -hmm. But to me, that's but to me, this thing keeps messing up. To me, I feel like if I um. If I don't consciously think about anything, I'm not going to do much. I'm going to be just like pretty boring and have no like, I feel like I have to like consciously think about most things about what I'm doing and how I'm saying things. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I don't just like, I think, I don't know if other people think like this, but like anything I do in my life, any small decision I make, I'm like consciously putting in like effort to do it. And if I don't, I'll just kind of like lay around and not do much. Like I don't really go into autopilot. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense. I'm just having a hard time understanding what autopilot would look like because in the way you're describing it, mm -hmm. it's like in that framework, I think everyone then is consciously thinking, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like who do you, you know what I'm saying, Matt? Like do you, what, what does your autopilot look like if there is one? I don't think there is an autopilot to your point. I think it's just kind of, you know, your you sort mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. And it's like, I get what Mark's saying to an extent of like, toning things either up or down mm -hmm. or not even that putting effort I, I feel like putting effort's a big thing like if i don't 
put effort into stuff, like I'm not going to be the person I want to be. I could be a person that I don't like if I just kind of like let my natural self or not my natural self, let like my natural inclinations and just like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like I just let go of any conscious decisions of I want to do this. I want to do that. If I just kind of like live like, and I think a lot of people live like that. They just kind of like, I'm going to do what I want to do. That's it. I don't even think about it. But I'm very like meticulous in how I think about things. And I'm like, I have to put an effort to do X or Y and Z. Um, Can you give an example so it's easier to understand? Sure. Um, Like, for example, like if I'm going to start my day, I'm going to be like, okay, I want to I want to be like I want to work on my career in some way today. I'm going to like work on my resume or I'm going to work on this or that. Um, you're not just talking about social interactions you're just talking about generally I'm talking about living just life being yeah my, myself oh, okay. and i think an example that i commonly think about is like i'll be in a social setting and i'll be like okay you're being kind of like quiet right now like be be likable like be talkative be funny say something funny do something that someone might think is interesting i don't know like i think about like that sometimes okay. i don't necessarily just like react naturally to the situation like i don't know like I'm, I'm always in my head thinking about things yeah and i just wonder who else like if everyone else is like that or if some people just kind of don't even think about how they're acting they just act okay i didn't i didn't know that you were like broadening out to like everything so in that yeah. sense i think uh something miss bach call back to when we were talking did we talk about miss bach on the podcast i don't know chemistry i remember yeah. i remember grade 11 yeah yeah um she a good thing or a bad thing it's a good thing <laughs> she she out. said um <laughs> She said, um, like electrons, humans take the path, usually take the past path of least resistance. Mm-hmm. Yes. So in that sense, like with the way you're describing it, yeah, if I didn't like be intentional with how I wanted to do my day, I've had these days where I just like, mm-hmm. I'm sitting around like scrolling on my phone of like, I just want to be lazy today. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to do anything like today. That doesn't like a personality thing or like that just, who you are. That just sounds like. I think like that's intrinsic to like people. But I think. Like, people I, take the path of least resistance as Ms. Box says. But I think on a you can apply that idea to like to personality because i feel like i don't think personality is a completely inherent thing that is just natural to you no matter what okay i think personality is like something that you develop over time and it's a mixture of who you kind of naturally are versus what you're trying to put on it's a nature nurture thing yeah and i, and I just feel like i f- i don't know I, maybe this kind of speaks to my lack of self-awareness maybe but i feel like a p- large percentage of my personality of who i am like how is more of a nurture thing. I think it's more of a conscious effort. Like, how, how am I going to try to be? Um, who am I going to try to be? Like, what's the kind of ideal person I want to be? And how am I going to get there? And like intention. Like, I think you were talking about that. Like, mm-hmm. a, like an intentional thing. Okay. As opposed to just kind of like a passive thing. It happens, you know? Yeah. And I don't necessarily know what I, where I want to go with the conversation. It's just like, I think about that a lot. I'm, I think about how other people see me. Do other people see me as kind of a fucking boring person? That's like, they don't, I'm forgettable. Or do people think that I'm like interesting or funny? And how do I view myself? Because I think, you know, a part of being the best version of myself is just being delusional in a sense and thinking that I am really good at X, Y, and Z, even though I'm maybe not. Mm-hmm. It's like, again, fake it till you make it, right? It's like the idea of um, if I believe truly that I am funny and, I'm, and I consciously like work on that and I'm like, you know, I th- I th- I'm thoughtful about the sort of things that I say, then I think I will end up being funny to people. Yeah. But if I just kind of let go of my conscious efforts and just was naturally myself without any of the ner- without any of the effort or the intention, then I'm just kind of like a shell of myself. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I feel like I just think about that a lot. Like, am I going to be my full self today and like put in effort and do what I want to do? Or am I just going to like kind of cruise and just like not have that conscious effort mm-hmm. that as a part of who I am? I feel like a part of my personality is putting in that effort. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I hear that. Or like for my personality to be fully um, like expressed, okay. I have to put in that effort. Whereas I wonder to myself, like, is everybody like that? Or do a lot of people not have to put in any effort and they're just, they don't even consciously think about anything. They're just doing it. Not anything, but like about their personality, let's say. Mm-hmm. Like, do you, for example, Patrick, yeah. ever think, you know, I'm a confident guy. Like, be like, you know, be confident today. Like, do it. You know, like, do you talk to yourself? Do you push yourself to be a certain way? are you ever consciously thinking about putting an effort to do something or be a certain way? Or do you never do that? And you just kind of like that. You, you don't even think about your personality. You just are who you are. Um, you said a few things there. I'm going to just touch on the first thing you said. You said, do you ever talk to yourself? The only time I f- caught myself in the recent uh, past, talk to myself is when like I'm overwhelmed with a lot of things to do. And like, mm-hmm. I'm really stressed. And I just tell myself like whatever you have on your plate, 
you always do what needs to be done and you always get what needs to be done done so that's sort of how i talk to myself of like sure but it's more of like a yeah. stress dealing thing i'm talking yeah. about like when you're thinking about when you're just being when you're thinking about your personality like who 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 am i like you're thinking to yourself who am i yeah is it ever a conscious thing when you're thinking like i have to like i have to be pushing myself to be a certain way or do you never think about that do you just kind of like let yourself be the way you are that day the only time i push myself to be a certain way is when i'm with strangers mm. that's the only time where it's like i'm trying to see the personalities that are around me mm-hmm. and how i should be acting how i should be reacting what jokes i can say mm-hmm. what conversations to bring up that's yeah. the only time where i'm where i'm fully conscious mm. or like fully intentional with choosing how i express myself but if it's with um with people who i know and people who i'm comfortable with it's just like i'm just bouncing off the vibe of the room i think of yeah. like if if people if everyone's like excited and turned up then mm. i'm naturally just going to be like more mm. on their level unless it's an off day where it's like sure. i feel bad myself yeah i mean i don't to me it's not a black and white thing i feel like yeah. I, i'm somewhere in the middle most times mm-hmm. um but i do feel like i heavily lean towards like the way you're describing kind of um when you're with other people and you're in this analyzing mode yeah the way you're describing that i feel like i'm like that all the time okay. even by myself okay. like i'll be like thinking about who, like who am i going to be today am i going to be like the, the version of myself that i want to be mm-hmm. or am i just kind of going to take the path of least resistance in a way and not consciously turn on the best parts of me yeah and who you're going to be today is not just how you act it's also what you do is what you're saying yes okay and how i think yeah like I th- i'll think to myself like how am I gonna, like what kind of thought process like what kind of type of what kind of thoughts am I gonna have today like mm. am I gonna be like a productive and like you know energetic happy like or am I just gonna do whatever I want to do naturally and yeah. it's gonna just kind of maybe be a waste of time for example I see so I feel like to kind of be the most authentic best version of myself effort is involved and I think about that a lot like am I putting in enough effort to be the best version of myself do I even have to put in that much effort or do I just should I just take it back so i think about i'm curious to see what other people are like like if you guys are ever thinking to yourself i need to put in more effort to be myself if that makes any sense Mm -hmm. or if you or if you maybe think the opposite and to be yourself is to put in no effort but to me like i'm i'm turned on like that all my and that sounds i mean pause right Mark mark is turned on all the time no but to be yeah to for me to be the best version of myself i i always have to be um thinking again i have said this a million times thinking consciously about how i'm coming across and and how i want to be taken yeah so yeah i don't know patrick a question is your camera still rolling i'm like 99 percent sure Why? it is the curious it's still rolling. perfect I fixed, I fixed the problem thank goodness because <sighs> it will be on youtube a lot uh i don't know to me it's more the natural thing and like i not in the sense of where it all comes from because i'm sure there's things that you take from you know bits and pieces and you know odds and ends everywhere but in terms of the like actually going about it in my day-to-day i'm much more like i'm not waking up thinking like how am i gonna be today or like shit like that it's more just like i'm gonna do my thing because even you saying patrick of like well if i'm with strangers it's this that and i'm like reading the room and yada yada and blah blah i'm like exactly that's not who you are you saying like but when i'm with you guys and you know i am more natural and open and blah blah blah. it's like well that's who you are kind of thing Mm -hmm. so it's like i'm much more or like i agree with that which is why to me it's much more like just a natural thing of just you know who i am and what i'm like going kind of thing and you know me having to be more like conscious of this thing or aware of that or like you know this isn't the right time or place for this, or this requires more seriousness or like, you know, professional or this, that, and the other thing. It's like, okay, that's all great. It's all part of me, I guess, to some extent, but it's not like who I really am. It's not how I would describe myself or perceive myself, you know? Mm -hmm. Can we, um, we talk about, uh, um, real fruit bubble tea, the interactions we have there uh sure yeah you want, okay um uh, uh, so we went to real fruit bubble tea with a few people from church mm, bubble would hit different right now go on it would hit different right now i w- actually went to the cha time mm. a largest six dollars there i was just at cha time the yeah. other day and 
they were like, okay, ice and sugar levels. And I was like, you know, less ice. And I'm looking at their scale and it's like 25%, 50 50%, 50%, 80%, 100%, 120%. What? And I'm like looking at it and I'm like, I don't know what's regular for you guys, like 50, 80. Because when I go to the Gong Cha Is town, it 25? When the Gong Cha town, they're like 70 is our normal okay. and then like 100 is maxed out. And I do even 50 there sometimes, like yeah. just below the normal. So I was like, I don't know what's the normal, like 50, 80. And they're like, the normal is actually 100. I'm like, regular sugar wait, levels wait, wait, wait. is 100%. Oh, sugar. I thought you were saying ice. No, no, no. no, no. Yeah. This was the sugar levels. They're oh, like, because I said man. less ice. And then for the sugar level, I'm like, I don't know, 50, 80. Like, what's your regular? And they're like, 100 is regular. But it's by percentage? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. So then. And I'm like, all right. But, but I guess 100, I'll go 100, with 100. 100% is meaning full sugar. Yeah, regular but sugar. The Gong Cha in town, their regular sugar amount is 70. 70% sure, but what is that yeah. physically, though? Sure. It could be more than I have cha no, time. Sure, I have no fucking... All I'm saying is the yeah. cha time, I went with 100 because I'm like, all right, I'll just get the regular. Yeah. And it was like sweet as shit. And I was like, really? 80 yeah. probably would have been enough. To me, oh, when I think okay. about percentage, I think like 100% just means like regular, our, our regular, yeah. full... Whatever product. that means for them, yeah, right? Whatever, yeah. Anyways, bubble would hit different. Go on. Bubble would hit different. <laughs> but yeah, so we were at Real Fruit Bubble Tea in Mississauga. We were with a bunch of church people and we were yeah. talking. The first thing I'd like to say is there are a few... Uh, there's a couple girls there that Mark ended up talking to uh, that we were sitting down. And do you remember how I had my drink and I was like, with my drink, I was trying to signal to you. Do you remember? No. You don't remember? No. You were like, Patrick, come sit down. And I was just like, I wasn't sitting down and I kept fiddling with my straw. I remember, I remember that. You weren't sitting down. Yeah. Oh, but you didn't notice me fiddling with no, my straw. Was oh, I, was I'm just I was trying to get you to scoot in and then i, did, I was gonna I did, sit in front of you i did scoot you in. did scoot in i thought you got my signal anyways no. that's besides the point i just wanted to sit beside the girl that's right and yeah. that's what i wanted you to do too yeah so can you break down the interaction for us with, the, with that girl with regards to like how you saw her how you think she saw you kind of sure thing? Yeah. yeah okay this is interesting I, I mean i think so i sat down i was like okay what's up and i immediately f felt that she was and then i want to tell you what i thought sure okay I felt like immediately she was like a pretty shy and reserved person because like I started talking to her like I've never she's never seen me before I've never seen her before and I was like hey how's it going and she was like immediately kind of like shaky and nervous like oh hey how's it going like she wasn't like you know outgoing she was very introverted and kind of quiet so that's how I perceived her um I'm not sure how she perceived me because I feel like there wasn't much output from her like mm. she was kind of like like she would say a few things here and there but she wasn't like the extroverted type to be like giving me a lot of things to interpret. Like there wasn't much to interpret because I'd say a couple things. She'd say a couple things. And then I would like be like, okay, she's, it's kind of like a, she's not giving me much to work with. So I just kind of would switch over to, to you or the other guy or mm. the other girl even because the other girl was talking way more. Yeah. So I found myself like leaning over the, the girl just to talk to the other girl too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That, How did I that other girl didn't have any self. This other girl was a yapper, Matthew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yap she was a a, she was mayor of Yapsville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Like, what's what's like? What's your question? Like, how my how did I feel like I was being uh, perceived? Oh yeah, you. Oh, did you answer that part? I guess so. Yeah. So yeah. I felt if I had to guess. Oh, you said you, you didn't I, know. I couldn't know. Yeah. But if I had to guess, I felt like I was probably perceived as I don't know, outgoing and um, yeah. you know, energetic. Yeah. From the way, so from my, where I, so I was sitting like a, a little further away from them. Yeah. It's kind of out of the conversation. I was really trying my best to like get in the conversation. <laughs> but the person who was sitting beside me, I wanted that seat mm -hmm. and he got it before me. And oh. I was just super upset. The guy with the glasses? Like, the guy with the, no, 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 the guy next to the guy with the glasses. I was going to be in front of you is what I wanted. Who was in front of me? The guy that was in front of you, his name was, uh, you want to cut this? Does it matter? Basil. Basil. The guy, for, the guy with the curly hair and. He was also in engineering, and they were talking about engineering at one point. Him and the girl that was next to him. Is there anything yeah. wrong with that? Okay. Does that have to get cut out? No, just uh, no, I don't he, want. No, he's not going to see it. He's not going to see it. Okay, whatever. Um, did you guys ever bump into the weird guy again? Yeah, he was there. We did. He wasn't at that. He wasn't at. He wasn't at the bubble tea place, but he was at the event before that. Yeah, Has he been and he like, was. He was wearing shorts. He was restrained. So, <laughs> hold on, can I say this? Sure. So, uh, bef so there's like a little like meeting that they have like in the church itself. Not like where you have mass, but like in like the corridor areas or like the um, what's the word I'm looking for? What, what do you say that again? In not the corridor, the uh, the areas that aren't the church, the foyer, mm -hmm. like the foyer sure. area. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm getting ready to go to church with Mark, and I'm wearing shorts, and I'm about to step out the door, and my mom goes, "Patrick," I'm like, "Huh? What? Do you, yeah, look, like, what's up? I'm trying to like run out, go to church." She's like, "You're not going in shorts." Mm -hmm. I was like, "Huh?" 
I'm a 24 year old man, by the way, everybody. Mm. You're not going in shorts. I'm like, what do you? <laughs> Sorry, I had to fart. And like, what do you mean? Why not? She's like, you can't go to church in shorts. Change. You're not 24. And I, I'm a 23 year old, <laughs> almost 24 year old man. But I feel like that's fairly it's common co- it's, for church of like don't. It's wear common, shorts. but 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 we weren't going to mass. We weren't going to. We ah. were just. Go- that's why I prefaced it by saying we're just going to be in the foyer. We're not even. Like anywhere near anything holy, quote sure, unquote. Sure. Right. The uh, the whole building's holy, Patrick. The whole building's much. holy. You're right. Whatever. Thank you it is much. what it is. <laughs> so, um, I begrudgingly changed, right? Mm-hmm. And we get to the place, and I'm like, I told, I tell my mom, if anyone else is wearing shorts, I'm gonna take a picture of them. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to you, and be like, see, it's not a big deal. So we get there. <laughs> I scan the room. Sure enough, the only person wearing shorts is the weird guy. <laughs> So your mom did you a favor. She did me a favor. There you go. It just would have been him and that guy. It would have been me and that guy. And you we know, he would have come up to you. I'm just standing up and like, hey, like, like you're wearing shorts too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, what a great point to connect on, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're both wearing shorts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we met uh, another guy who's also kind of socially iffy. He was okay. the one sitting beside me at D spot. Uh, D spot, D spot, D spot. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 So so he wasn't inappropriate. Mm. Weird. Yeah. And he wasn't out of pocket weird. He seemed like a sweet guy, but he was like, yeah. The the weirdness about him was he was very um, robotic robotic, and yeah, that's just the best word to use it. So we would be talking about different things. And when it went stale, he would literally do this. He'd be, he would go, so he's looking at me, blah, 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 talking. And then it goes stale. He would go, hmm, let's see. <laughs> And then he would try to find the next thread. Like, what thread. do I say next? He, he's, he's physically in front of me yeah. trying to find the next you, you, thread. You know what I found in- interesting about that guy? Yeah. Was the fact that he never was able to, like, uh, like his his eye contact was never, like, variable. It was like he locked in on you. And yeah. if he was, if he's like, I am going to be talking to this gentleman, and he'll just look at you for the whole time and not break eye contact. Yeah. And then when, when someone else spoke, to him directly then he would only lock on, on exactly that. it was this to me speaks to all this though of like these are examples of people who have no self perspective mm. or self preservation or, or any of this shit where it's like they don't think outwardly about themselves it's all just like internal out but there's no like it never comes back mm-hmm. sort of thing which is I feel like I have this in spades in terms of the self perspective thing yeah. of like I'm constantly aware of like you know reading a room or like is this the time and place for that kind of thing or is this person going to gel with that or yada 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 like I'm constantly aware of myself or like how I'm being interpreted I think generally yeah. in social settings like I, that. I, I definitely agree with that? I agree with that too and I definitely take it for granted because looking at these individuals Part of me feels like maybe there's a percentage of it. I think a high percentage of it is just that's how they are kind of thing. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I was a li- I was only uncomfortable when it came time for us to interact as a group because, like Mark said, he only locked in on one person. So we'd be talking as a group, and he would want to add something, but he'd only look at me. So I'm like, we're talking together, and then he would want to add something, and I would turn and listen to him. And while he's saying it, he's just looking at me. And there's like a whole yeah. semicircle of people around us. It's like, dude, Did you know like, what I, address the room. You know what I'm saying? You know what I feel like? A part that's missing is the confidence there, I think. Okay. Because I think a part of this whole conversation to me is like just believing that like, this sounds weird, but I feel like everybody should believe that they're the shit, you know? Mm. Like you should believe that you're the fucking, you're, you're cool, you're interesting, you're funny or whatever. Like you should have confidence in yourself that you're not just like, you know forgettable person mm. if you feel like you're, for, you're a forgettable forgettable person you probably are forgettable but if you're like have confidence in yourself that you're likable and you're interesting and you're funny and you're and you're kind of helping hyping yourself up then you can finally reach your potential as opposed to like if you have no confidence plus what maddie's saying about like you're not really reading into what people are saying that's a big part of it too but i think even if you weren't necessarily reading what other people were feeling about you if you were just confidently full of yourself then more people would mess with you. You know what I'm saying? I see. Like, I think more people would like talking to you if you were just confident. I guess, but Can it depends a... because the guy who's going on, not this guy you're talking about, yeah. but the last time, the other fucking nut job you were talking about, like, yeah. that guy's oh, he probably, thinks probably he's pretty confident probably, and yeah. thinks he's, like, the shit, but, yeah. like, it doesn't. So that begs the question. So 
that doesn't work for that gentleman yeah. and people like Maddie. So what would you say to them <laughs> on how to? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, I don't know. I honestly, it's like uh, I'm trying to think of, of of kind of how to go about this and what what other interesting points I I want to try to make. But like, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. I just feel like even when Maddie's saying like, it's just a natural thing. I don't, I don't. You know, he doesn't consciously think about any of these things. But I just feel like for me, like I'm like that all the time. But with his logic, that means that. I have no personality and have no like I have like I'm I'm just a shell. Because I for think me, that only. Well, I don't think it's that. I just think it's no, but you're de- more like his his um, framework, for lack of a better word, presumes that there are moments where you aren't thinking like that, which is what him and I. What do you mean? Him and I. So him and I said that when we're with people we're comfortable with. Yeah. We're not on. But you said even when you're with people you're comfortable with, when you're alone, you're on. Yep. So that's why he said what he said. It presumes that there's a, a moment or like times where you're off. But, but you're saying but, you're always on. But I feel like I'm always on. Yeah. And I feel like I mean, obviously, it depends. Like if I'm watching a TV show, I'm locked into something. Um, I'm not necessarily thinking about myself. I'm thinking about just whatever I'm focusing on. Yeah. But like, if I am not interacting with a, something indirectly, yeah. Um, with people it's different. But if I'm not interacting with something directly, like doing an activity or watching something if i'm not doing any of those things i am consciously thinking about who i am so if you're driving yeah okay if you're i mean it depends i mean like you have to ask a more specific question i guess i'm trying to think like what would i think about when i'm driving i'm just i'm just trying to think of like because with that how often are you finding yourself not doing anything you know what i'm saying how often am i finding myself not doing anything um because you're saying when you're not doing anything that's when you're on i guess in quotes right yeah. Is that the right word I don't know. Use? I think it's not. I don't. Maybe I put it wrong. I, th- I just feel like most of the time I am conscious and thinking about these sort of things okay. about myself. Yeah. Um. And the only times that I'm not are when I'm interacting with something like a movie or a show or a game. Okay. I'm not thinking about myself in those moments. I'm thinking about how much I love whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like if I'm even if I'm by myself or if I'm, okay, a good example. If I'm with you guys and I'm like when you guys got here and we sat down and everything, I felt like I was thinking to myself. I was like, okay what is my energy right now? What's my vibe right now? How am I feeling? How do I want to, do I want to keep it like that? Or do I want to be a, do I want to be different? Do I want to be like, you know, cause for me, the ideal version of myself is energetic and, you know, kind of like positive and, uh, and kind of like, you know, higher, higher energy. Mm-hmm. Whereas when you guys got here, I felt like I was just kind of like low energy. So I had to consciously think like, Hey, you know, be who you want to be, be more happy, be more talkative, whatever. Yeah. Um, and I'm like that all the time. I have to remind myself and I have to push myself to be a certain way. Because if I just let, again, if I have no conscious effort into what I'm doing and what, how I'm saying things and what I'm saying and how I'm being, then I'll just end up being kind of, um, I don't know, maybe like half-assing. I feel like I'm almost half-assing things when I don't try. Mm-hmm. When, I'm not, when I don't try to be a certain way, you know? And I don't necessarily think it's like an unnatural thing because I feel like it's just basically like I have certain traits that are inherent in who I am and but at the same time if I don't work at it then they're not gonna reach the level that I'd want it to be does that make sense like if I have like if one of my personality traits I feel like is um extroversion for example I have to I have to like still I still have to push it a little bit so that I can be like really extroverted to the place I want to be or if like I want to be um if I really, I really want to be funny, I feel like I'm, I'm not, I naturally think of things that I think are funny, but I have to push myself and remind myself to, to be courageous enough to say them and to do, to do that certain, you know, those sort of things. So I just feel like, I don't know. I wonder if anyone else is like that or if anyone else like consciously pushes themselves to do, do things that they feel like they're good at and they want to be even better at them or whatever, mm-hmm. you know? But yeah, I don't know. Good topic. No, I'm kidding. Don't, but don't you just think that's just who you are? I think who I am is someone who's like really reflective and like exactly neurotic i guess but I, and i think but I, yeah i guess so i think because to me it's just like when i say that i think i'm more natural in a sense it's like the comedy thing for example self-perspective i think of myself as like a generally funny person in the sense of like day-to-day passively kind mm-hmm. of thing not in like a sit down and like because to me it's all stand up is almost like the perfect example with this where it's like to me it's the difference between like just being funny and then like forcing 
funny almost. Well, I think I'm naturally funny. I don't think I'm forcing anything. And that's I, my I, thing. No, but at the same time, I have to try though. I'm not gonna just like, I'm not gonna just be in a situation, and all of a sudden I'm just saying shit that 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 is that's funny and everybody's laughing. Like I have to be like, I'm I'm like, there's more steps in my brain where I'm like. Okay, like what would be the funny? Like I think I have a good idea. Like when should I say this? Like when should I do? Like I'm kind of like a more plotting and like I don't like just feel it and do it. I mean, I guess sure. I do but are you sense, waking but... up in the morning like I have to be funny today? No, unless I have something coming up and I want to be funny. Like for example, like if I'm if I'm going out with Patrick at, that night, I'll be like, all right, how am I feeling today? Am I I'm feeling kind of like low energy? All right, like I'm gonna fucking like I'm gonna like show people how funny I am and I'm gonna like turn it up a little bit. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just show up having no thoughts about how I'm going to be. I'm like always consciously thinking about how I'm being and how I'm being taken. To me, it's just like I'm aware of all these things. I think about all these things, but it's more like... That's all I'm saying. It comes and goes and I'm not like planning it like Mm -hmm. hours in advance or like waking up in the morning. Like it's more just like... Well, it depends on this. Throughout the day and like thoughts and shit that happen. Because to me, it's like with a comedy thing, it's like I generally as a baseline go through life like trying to make people laugh or going for the laugh kind of thing. Not necessarily, again, pursuing it actively because if you told me to sit down and write jokes on a cue card and go do stand-up, I don't think I could ever fucking do that well. I mean, anybody can do it, but like well. Yeah, follow that feeling. Whereas like <laughs> whereas like sitting around passively and like in conversation with people, it's like things happen or you think of things and like shit like that. That I think I'm good with. And I'm aware of like that and trying to maybe like emulate that or emphasize that or like go for the laugh and try and get people to laugh like that's something that's always i'm aware of i guess but i'm not like getting up every day being like you know have to be funny today it's more of just a like in the moment oh i'm talking to somebody at work or i'm talking to you guys or like you know I'm buying something at the grocery store and like, you know, somebody working there says something to me or whatever. Mm-hmm. And maybe I see an opportunity to like to make a dad joke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. To like get a laugh kind of thing and, and hurt them or something and to hurt them. <laughs> I, honestly, I feel like I think the word that comes to mind in this whole topic is like purposeful. Like, I feel like I'm always very purposeful about how I am, like mm-hmm. not just for other people to perceive me in a social setting that too. But I'm very purposeful about how I act in my private time because I want to be who I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I may feel like in some ways I'm naturally a little bit more... I'm, like, on the spectrum of introversion, extroversion. Let's say, like, I'm in the middle. Okay. But, like, I... Like, let's say I feel like I, I'm naturally in the middle, but I want to be on the other... On the more extroverted side, so I have to, like, kind of push myself a little bit. But then, to me, I, I just feel like there are certain things where... Yeah, like I said, I'm naturally good at them, but I have to be purposeful about enacting that in a way. Like, I, I, f- I feel like I am naturally funny sometimes... But I'm not necessarily going to be as funny as I think I could be if I don't push it. If I don't like make sure to consciously be like, hey, like use your kind of use your natural inclination type thing, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, I don't know. That's all I really have to say about it. I just kind of like w- was reflecting on that, and I feel like I don't know. Maybe some people are have the same sort of thoughts as me, and they think you know they're always reflecting on who they are, and they want to like kind of um, be conscious about, or be like kind of. Uh, pur- like purposeful and thoughtful about how they are. Um, well, to that, and I think everybody is. It's more the people like you know these fucking weirdos mm-hmm. that can't like have that internal kind of like rundown of like I wonder how everything's going kind of thing. But like that's like, more the outlier, yeah, than the people running around like aware of themselves. You yeah, know? but I also feel like it's. I don't think I do it to a normal level. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. Maybe you're more like harder in the paint than your average Joe. But I feel like that's everyone. Mm-hmm. Like I can't imagine walking around not thinking about like, you know, either reading vibes from people mm-hmm. in certain situations or like, you know, with the funny thing, for example. It's like, again, I'm not sitting at home being like – I gotta be funny kind of thing but if i'm in a situation i have been in situations where like i'm talking to people whether it's people i know people i don't know anything in between whatever and i'm like talking and i'm like getting laughs and making people laugh and it is the like internal thought of like don't look at me with confusion yeah i was a little confused too more and it's like the internal i have the sort of internal reflection reflection of like oh i'm making people laugh i'm getting a positive reaction like this is good i'm getting you know i want to make a i want to make it clear that i'm not 
when I'm saying this, I'm not being like, ooh, I'm different and no one else is like me. I'm thinking no. like I'm thinking when I'm saying it. I feel like because I'm feeling it and I'm thinking it, a lot of people probably feel that way that they that they're kind of like a lot of people who are like me are very reflective and they kind of um put a lot of thought into how they're behaving, even just privately, like being purposeful and thoughtful about who you are in private and in public. I feel like a lot of people are like that. And I'm just kind of, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I just like talking about it sometimes because I feel like I keep it internally a lot. And I don't talk to many people about it. Um, so yeah, I'm sure a lot of people share that feeling and have that feeling. And I think it's just a spectrum of where you're on. Like maybe you're like, you do it all the time like me, or you're kind of very rarely only in high stakes social situations. You're thinking like that. Whereas, sure. whereas for myself, I think about it even in private, like I'll be watching like, even though I said, like, I don't do it when I'm watching a show, I kind of do it still even when I'm watching a show, for example. Like, if I see something, like, someone doing something in a show, and I'm like, oh, I like the, I like the way they handle this situation, and I'm kind of like, I want to be more like this. I want to be more, again, outgoing, or I want to be more, um, you know, I don't know, how, the way I think of, like, I want to be more, like, um, I want to be like more chill, more cool, whatever the fuck, you know? Like, I just think about that sort of stuff all the time. Like, how I want to be and, like, where I'm moving and, like, where I want to be, I guess. Well, fellas, as I mentioned earlier in the show, uh, Patrick and I and Pablo, guest host, uh, and three of our other work friends went on a camping trip uh, this past weekend uh, so it inspired me. I thought I would do camping, and more specifically, but Malcolm's not here. The outdoors. I know, as my kind of topic, and just mm. kind of you know, I get everybody's thoughts and feelings on the outdoors. Do you know how dumb camping cottages? What everybody thinks? Any experiences? You no, know, keep going. That was kind of it. <laughs> yeah, what were you gonna say? No, I hate it. Oh, I hate ca- I hate camping. I hate the outdoors, and I hate camping. But have you done it? Have Camp- you done camping? Have I done camping in the traditional sense? Yeah. No. But I've so. I've seen it. I've seen the ideas of it. Yeah. I've I've looked into it. I, I don't want anything to do with it. What if you actually like it though? Like if you try it. Here's what I like. I like yeah. having I like cottaging because at least I have a bed and the mm-hmm. TV and play video games, watch yeah. a movie. I just basically want to be at home and then like, oh but I can go home. canoeing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like camping to me is like just going back in time and being like, let's live in a worse time where everything's <laughs> more uncomfortable and like I, well, something I like about camping that we actually didn't get this time, because mm. they they brought a grill. Mm. Something I really like about camping is the idea of relying on the fire to cook everything. Mm-hmm. I like doing that. But when we were younger, we were so stupid. We, so we ha- there's this, like this grill thing. I'm gonna try and describe. It. I don't know if I'll be able to. So, you know, how, uh, there's like, if you have a barbecue, you have a grill, and you can take that grill off, right? Yeah. So imagine a contraption that's a grill up top, a grill below, and a clamp that you, so you can hold it on a fire. Yep, mm-hmm. I know exactly what you're talking okay, about. Okay, cool. It's like it's like a it's it almost is it's shaped like a sign. Yeah. And then you just have a handle and exactly. you, it's like it's and it's like and you can put stuff in it and yeah, you yeah. open close mm-hmm. it, right? Yeah, you can mm-hmm. imagine like chicken skewers just like all over it and you Yeah. So what we did when we were kids mm-hmm. after we weren't kids, we were like 17, 18 yesterday. We <laughs> yesterday we went camping and we brought a pizza. Oh god. <laughs> and we oh, tried no. to do it in this grill just, thing. Like, goop through. It gooped through. Yeah. And eventually we realized, oh, like the top is still like really not cooked. So someone flipped it and then all the cheese, all the mm. pepperoni fell and it was just a whole debacle. Mm. Uh, so hot dogs, hamburgers. That's what fires are good for. for sure. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I have always liked the outdoors and camping and cottages and all this shit. I always use the reference point that my mom always laughs at when the very first time she took me camping. I think the very first time I went camping, it was my mom and I, and then uh, Dean and Wendy, my neighbors. I think the four of us went. But before we did that, my mom wanted to do like a test run. So her and I literally spent the night in our backyard, just like in a tent on the lawn. Because my mom basically was like, I'm not fucking driving, you know, two hours wherever just to be there for two, three days and like have you being like a little bitch about it. <laughs> so she's like, this isn't verbatim. But so she's like, so we're going to test let it, it be first verbatim. in the backyard. Mm-hmm. And it was fine and whatever. And she always makes the joke of like, I knew you were going to be fine in the outdoors because as soon as we got to the campsite, you were like three or four or whatever you were and just immediately got out of the car and announced that you had to shit and then just ran into the woods. Not a bathroom. Just ran into the woods and just crapped on a like rock. Mm. And my mom was like, that kind of gave me the like sense that like mm. he's gonna be all right um, <laughs> camping and with the outdoors. Um, 
So I've always liked camping. I've always liked the outdoors and whatever. And I guess we can get maybe into just being outside. I would like to but that's give not a counterpoint. Sorry. I'm into. If I Please. was a kid and I experienced that, my my thought would have been like. Oh, this is the first kid who's gonna get eaten by a bear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> yeah he's he's easy to take advantage of. You know what's funny? On the camping trip we went on. Yeah. On the camping trip we went on recently, they made the same joke of like mm. Maddie would be the one to die from a bear. <laughs> and I was like, come on. If anybody they were like, if a bear were to attack, ten times out of ten, only Maddie would die and everyone else would survive. There's no way. I, got, I just gotta be faster than one if of you. If there guys. was a bear attack, the bear would kill everybody, probably. Unless you guys had a vehicle I nearby. I don't know why they said what they said. Like how would you guys get away all like while the bear's eating Maddie? I think the whole point was like Who's most agile? The, the 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 bear would be eating Maddie. Yeah, and, then you'd and we would have like sticks and stuff, and or like so, some things to hit it with, and like scare it off, maybe or oh. you know what I mean. I I thought the comment was more on his physical, like his like his athleticism. If he's able to be agile, I, I honestly don't know where some they didn't really. Who, like, who went with you guys? It was m- us, Corey, oh, well. Pamu, Tony, and Pablo. Okay, well, I feel like Maddie's not going to be the one to die. Wait, wait, can you say the name of who you think with? <laughs> say it. <laughs> I'd like you to say I it. I just have to be faster than I'm, one of you I'm guys. I'm just going to say that. I, I mean, I assume... I don't know, remember his name. I think it's a... Is it Corey? Corey, okay. With well, the, 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 the big hair. He's the bigger guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's, bigger, I'm yeah. sure he's slower than Maddie. Wow. Okay. So, just can just you say that as the camera? Say, I'm Corey, sure. you're getting... <laughs> Corey, you're I getting... I think, Corey, listen, I, you're a cool guy. I met you a couple times. Like, you're yeah. fine. And I could like you very much. Um... But I feel like Maddie is closer to his like uh, natural body weight in terms of like body fat percentage, and uh-huh. I feel like he's gonna be able to be more agile and fast than you. I'm okay. gone. Although that boy Corey though, looking good. Um, is, he, is, he, yeah. is, he, is he is he is he lean though? Slim down. He, he's he's slimmed a little. Yeah, he's slimmed a little. Yeah, yeah. Corey. Okay. I, I, I take Maddie would still be faster though. Maddie's still Absolutely. Maddie would still be faster. Corey, I'd outrun your ass, but also keep I can't imagine Maddie sprinting. You can't. Picture him sprinting right now. Well, he, we played basketball at this trip, actually. See, this is the point I wanted to make. This trip that we went on mm-hmm. was anything but a camping trip in like my idea of what a camping trip is. Usually in a camping trip, we hike, we canoe, we, hike. we go swimming. Mm-hmm. You know Water what I'm saying? Too cold. Don't get me started about hiking. Though. Hiking fucking sucks, and I don't know why anyone ever does it, but go ahead. Oh. Why do you say that? Because you're just like... You loved the last time we went hiking. We, I did. We got songs. Dude, we... I was so upset. <laughs> I, I wanted upset. to be done the whole time. You to the outdoors point, I like hiking if I am camping at a cottage, mm-hmm. yada, yada. But if I'm just like here in town and it's like, let's go ca- hiking. I'm like, I would rather just in, sit in my backyard Same. in the shade and like I don't hate with that. a beer and just enjoy the weather that way. I want to clarify. I don't. I hate the outdoors. I think I mentioned that in the beginning. That was the first thing I said. Was I hate <laughs> camping and the outdoors. Mm. I like the outdoors. It's just like I prefer indoors more than I prefer outdoors. Yeah. And I think that camping and, and hiking is just like the fucking dumbest shit you could do. But have you ever had a s'more though? I've had. I love s'mores. Have you had a s'more off the fire? I have. When and where? When we were at the cottage. Oh, that's right. We did do that. That's Here's nice. my thing I'm with sorry. camping in the outdoors. <laughs> Forgive me. No, I like like camping. Do you like it or like I, I, li- I was blending like and love. <laughs> I really like camping, but here's the thing. This weekend, before this weekend, I had not been camping in easily like a decade or something. Wow. And we had done the cottage two, three summers I'm ago. I'm like a seasoned veteran compared to you. Sure. Yeah. Are you? Um, I think I am. Yeah. When have you gone camping? Uh, Malcolm... Malcolm and I and like the soccer guys would go like once a year for like three or four years running. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We we when did, did you that. Stop doing that? We started doing that. When did you stop doing it? We stopped doing that probably yesterday. Yesterday, uh, maybe second year, but before COVID, mm. probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just it had been a while, but doing the cottage more recently up until this weekend and even Pablo said it afterwards where he's like you know maybe we'll do this again next summer he's like but we're getting a fucking cottage here's the thing I love the outdoors and being in a tent and all that is like fine but having done both now in recent memory I would be more defaulting to the cottage not even for like the TV of course the electronics because even when we went to the cottage we didn't really like no, but the bed. We watched one movie all together, and I couldn't sleep the first night and watched, like, most of Predator on my own. Yeah. And but that the, was but the granted bed. nice. But to me, it's purely the sleeping thing. Yeah. Sleeping in a tent the way we did of, like, the air mattresses, but all in one fucking tent. And, yeah, like, even if I was by myself in that tent, I still would have been question. I'd like to more jump in. uncomfortable. Before the question. No, 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 no. Before the question, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I know I gave you a hard time of, like, oh, you may like it. Mm-hmm. 
your your assessment was absolutely right. It's like mm. you have the cottage. Yeah. You can do all the things you like of doing course. camping, the s'mores, the canoeing, exactly. the hiking, whatever it is. Yep. But then at the end of the night, you have a, a nice place bed. where you can watch movies mm-hmm. where you can play video games it's air conditioned You're, it's air conditioned you can sleep in a comfortable mattress. and my thing is i don't even need all the ex- like the extra bells and whistles it's purely just like a bed to sleep yeah. in reliably and like being sheltered that being said, away from bugs and like or if it's yeah, raining and all that bugs, kind of yeah. shit. that being said you're saying, that's the biggest advantage of the cottage you're saying yeah. you don't need that but you would, you would like that we would have it if like I, if, I, if, I to, if i told if you most hey, places would have it obviously yeah, sure but I'm, but I'm saying like to prove to kind of to, to support my own argument about camping sucking um, to me it's like if I'm going to give you two situations, one where you have a nice bed in a room this big, that's it. That's all you get. Just a room, nothing else. Just a bed that's like a decent bed and you sleep in it. Or a beautiful, huge wooden cottage with five rooms and every room has a king bed and there's a TV in the living room. and like You don't need all that shit, but obviously you'd prefer that. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's definitely preferential, but my point is just like if it's the difference between a tent or just a cottage that's just beds and like obviously a bathroom or like you know sinks in a kitchen where yeah, like see, all, all these shit. things are are they're so useful and that's why camping sucks to me because it's like <laughs> you don't have these things that are really useful and helpful and at the very least like you said a bed but all these other things are helpful too like for me i would rather have wouldn't you rather just be in a a, a mansion on the water and have canoes and you, know, you can shoot archery and you can do fishing that sounds amazing and you can do all those things and then you go inside and it's like this beautiful air-conditioned building i would rather that like a uh, and you have all your friends there, and it's like a bunch of different rooms. Like to me, that goes to show that camping kind of just sucks. Like camping's, but camping's fun for like the novelty of it, and it's fun to do like we did, where you're just doing it for like a weekend and a few days. And I do like it. To me, it's honest. To me, the two biggest things in if you gave me a cottage with nothing else in it yeah. except for an actual bed and like a working toilet, that to me is all I really need. And I would rather do that of like the most bare bones cottage plus the outdoors. Instead of like tent plus the outdoors, so you'd rather do cottages like, than camping. Overall, yes, yeah. and obviously the cottage is going to come with the fancy yeah, bells yeah. and whistles. But my point is purely just that, like, I would take no internet, I would take no TV. Like, I'm fine with just a yeah. somewhere to sleep, somewhere to fucking piss and shit. But I mean, you'd prefer, but you'd prefer internet. And TV. You would, yeah. Sure, it's preferential, obviously, so, but, but it's not even I'm like I'm saying. Like, I mean, I'm taking it to the extreme of saying camping sucks, but to me, at the very least, you'd it's not preferential. So to me, like, why would anyone do it if it's not your preferred? Like, if you want to experience all these things, you can and have your preferences of being in a comfortable, and that's why you're saying you prefer a cottage. But to me, I just feel like, like, you could even, you can keep pushing it towards what's even more preferential, and you know where you end up? Indoors. I would actually maybe <laughs> even take out the you internet end up in part. Some. I would almost even rather prefer, like, a TV Let's sure. say then the internet. Sure, that was something. You can connect like a sw- Mario, play Mario Party. Sure, play but I'm you're not, you're not like, connected to the when internet. When we were camping, not having Wi-Fi that was nice. Yeah, was I liked it where it was driving like not you so much, but it was definitely driving some of the other guys nuts or Pablo of like, oh, I can't get any of my messages out of this that thing. Mm-hmm. And I was able to use like the not the i messages, but like the green text messages to get a few texts out to Varsha and whatever, yeah. which was nice. But to me, it was like. Awesome. No Instagram, no YouTube, no anything. Like I, I'm not worried or focused on like any of that shit like I am. But to me normally in a day to day thing. So yeah. that I actually that to me, if I was gonna get a cottage, I would almost actually prefer one without Wi Fi without Wi Fi. Yeah. If you wanna you, throw a TV and a DVD player in there, whatever the fuck, fine. But to me that's not an argu- that's not an argument for camping. That's an argument against social media and the internet. Like, yeah. You could you could just turn off your internet and not use your phone and t- and completely go off the grid at home if you wanted to just turn all your internet off for example so to me that's a good argument for moderation with the internet but it's not necessarily a kind of a plus of camping well it's not i'm also not looking at like a competition it's just like no no i i'm I'm just thinking about it like why i feel like camping is not good because i think there's better things competition wise i think i think it might be a plus for camping in the sense of like it forces you you don't have forces uh, when i I, like I found myself, I caught myself once or twice trying to turn on my data mm. and it still wasn't connecting. So mm. it's like one of those things where you could try and be in moderation, sure. but if you go camping, you're guaranteed like, that's true. It's going to be 100% no mm. Wi Fi. Even you tried calling me, mm. my connection, that's not Wi Fi. That's not data. Mm. I even couldn't talk to you. You were like trying to call yeah. me and I was like, it's cutting out kind of thing, mm. you know? So. I, that makes sense. The but. long and short of it, what I was just getting at is just that, like, I like camping and I would still do it again happily. But it's just like having done both in recent memory now, it's like I would rather do a cottage because mm-hmm. I get all the perks of the outdoors 
that yeah. I want. And again, most essentially to me, a place to shit and a place to sleep after like reliably. After having this conversation, I'm switched up. I don't like camping. Me wow. Neither. I like the cottage. Wow. And that's what I want. And that's what I want moving forward. <laughs> My thing is just like I like I prefer the cottage, but yeah. I still like camping. Yeah. So if someone was like, let's go camping, you, you would say yes. I'd be like, Yeah, yeah. sure, why not? Well, why would you ever choose it though if you have the other option of cottage? I mean, like, I, okay, if we're thinking financially, I guess it saves money probably to camp. But I'm saying if, right? I don't know. I've never been camp. Yeah. yeah but if, let's say financially. Like, I'm sure it's not a huge difference, though. It's uh, it's pretty it's significant. Big. Yeah, it's pretty big. Okay, but it's not. Either way, the cottage, that even when we went to the cottage, it didn't yeah. break the bank. It was like a couple hundred bucks or whatever. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's money. But like, I don't think we're necessarily, us, we're not going to be like, oh, we can't because it's a little bit too expensive. Yeah. No. Like, so to me, when we're, if we're taking finances out of it, yeah. you would never prefer camping over cottaging. So to me, it's like cottaging is just better competition wise I sure guess, if i'm making it a competition okay. but yeah yeah that's, that's why i just don't like camping because i feel like i'd be like yeah but i want a bathroom and i want a shower and i want a tv and i want all these things mm. but i like the activities associated with camping like i like the idea of fishing. canoeing and fishing and having like water there and like just being in a kind of more like foresty not nature area and disconnecting mm-hmm. but i feel like those things can be achieved with a cottage and that's why i think like and even like to me when i'm thinking about like hiking or something like that I'm thinking, I don't like, even if I'm like trying to get cardio in, I'd rather just go on a treadmill. And I know a lot of people are I like, hate that. I, know a lot I of hate people, the treadmill. I know so a lot of people are like, oh, I would rather be in nature and like be able to run. But to me, it's like, yeah, but there's like uneven terrain and there's like wind resistance and there's like, you know, sun in your eyes. I feel like there's all these things where I'm like, if I'm just trying to focus on cardio only, I'm just going to like hop on a machine that does it for like, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to get it over with. Yeah. But I don't, it doesn't add much to me to be in nature while doing those things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why well, I just like, I, I prefer being indoors generally because it's more like controlled area where there's no insects and, and fucking That's wind right. all over the, I don't know, you know? Yeah. The only argument for, well, are you saying people want to run through like a hiking trail? Because people are like, no, no, just no, no. run on sidewalk and well, there's not that uneven training. But to me, it's the same, it's the same idea to me of like yeah. the sidewalk and there's like the cracks in the sidewalk and then transitioning to the road. And then usually it's pretty windy, I feel like, or at least there's some sort Sometimes of wind. Sometimes it's windy, yeah. So I feel like all those things, like, because I'm not an outdoorsy person, I never I never want to do activities outdoors mm-hmm. like that. I'd rather do it inside. I see. Like I'm if, the if opposite you, with that. Yeah? Because yeah. if, if you told me, like, hey, do you, Mark, you want to hang out um, in this really nice, like, big-ass house and just, yeah. like, do shit in there? Mm-hmm. Or would you rather, like, go out and spend the day out just in, in nature? Mm-hmm. I'd be, like, f- indoors for sure. Do you want to know why I'm the opposite for running, though? Sure. Because I'm always so frustrated on a treadmill because... Yeah. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. Getting anywhere exactly. Outside, I can plot my route of like I'm gonna run here and then I'm gonna do a loop around. I'm gonna get home, kind of thing. I hate that. You know why? You hate that. I That's hate, what I love. I hate that because I'm like, fuck. Like I have so much more to go. Like and and the treadmill's the same thing. Yeah. I'm like I have. I'm trying to do 12 minutes of like strong jog and then speed walk, strong jog, speed walk. Yeah. And like I don't know how much land that would actually be. Usually, it like counts it for you. And I yeah. think like usually I travel at least like a, a mile okay. every time I do cardio. Okay. Which I don't know how long that is in kilometers. One point six. So that's like how, I don't know how much how many blocks that would be, for example. But if I had that same distance that I just ran on the treadmill in person in front of me, and I saw how far away it was, mm-hmm. I'd just be like, "Fuck, I don't want to. Do, I can't be do that." Yeah. I'd be like discouraged because I'm like, "There's so much to go." Yeah. And like I I know exactly the route, and it's like a really long route. Mm-hmm. Whereas like on the treadmill, I'm just like. I can just zone out and just do it, True. you know. Whereas, right. whereas there, you're like, fo- you gotta like know where you're going. Yeah, and I'm, bar- I'm terrible at directions too. I think that's a part of it. Mm. Of like, I don't, know, I don't know where I'm gonna, like, where am I gonna go? <laughs> can we talk about fishing just for one second? Sure. Mm. I, um, re- so we didn't fish this last camp- camping trip we did, but when we went to the cottage, yeah. we fished, and I, th- I think I love it. I love it too. <laughs> it's so fun. It's just really the idea, fun. just being able to. It, 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 uh, I don't want to say what I'm about to say. But yeah, I'm it say made it him feel powerful. It makes you feel like more of a man almost. You know what I'm saying? Like you're sure. catching an animal. and You know what I'm saying? I think there, it, it is a sexy. I'm sure it's sexy, it would be right? the same thrill as like. Sexy? I like, feel like fishing. You know what, you know what I mean? You, know you think a girl would think it's attractive? No, 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 is what no, no, you're no, saying? No, no. Yeah. People, sometimes you use the, people use the term sexy to be like something is like appealing. Appealing, okay. Not necessarily in a, in a romantic okay, sense yeah, or yeah. whatever. Like for example, like the idea of drinking no, to me, even though I, I don't like drinking, I don't like smoking. Like the idea of drinking a whiskey and having a cigar is it's super oh, sexy. Mm, oh yeah, it's just like suave and cool. Can't yeah. get enough. Of just it. like the idea of, of fishing is like sexy. Like oh, it's like it's like manly and like fun and chill and relaxing. Like yeah. it's sexy in terms of, uh, just as a, as a synonym for appealing to mm-hmm. me. 
but like yeah th- that one to me like i actually like doing it. it's not just the idea of it like it was fun to actually do. it was actually fun to do yeah. and part of it is if you're going with other people mm. we can all be quiet if we want sure or while we're hanging out we're shooting the shit Dude, we're can riffing I just, can i just say i'm so excited to just do us four cottaging i oh, don't know what's coming but oh like, i think malcolm is planning but just guys is what i'm saying yeah just guys yeah, i'm, I'm looking I'm forward to just be like dudes being dudes i can't that, wait for that that'll be fun are but we doing that still what i i actually don't know it's already june if i, if I can it's june it's june in right. a few days it's june yeah i mean if we want to do this we should probably take charge and, and get this yeah we there's do still it. cottages open i was looking we at actually, do july i was looking at airbnb in july actually there's a bunch of cottages open in muskoka mm-hmm. so yeah, there you go. definitely still availability anyways um last point i want to make and then we can get out of here we've done casual fishing more than anything i want to do fishing where we go to a place that has like decently sized fish and catch dinner mm. i want us to catch dinner and so catch the fish gut it and cook it and you know what i'm saying eat from our own labor what you're talking about though because i liked fishing it was fine yeah like but i didn't necessarily get the like thrill of it macho thrill of it to really me, okay. i found more fun in like the idea of like putting a fire together you know you but know to be, me it's yeah. i think of it more in like i've never done it but i've there's a part of that really wants to try hunting just yeah. once in my life. I want to do hunting I feel too. like that would be more the thing of like, give me a hunting rifle, throw me out in the woods. Like, you know, can I find a deer or some shit? Yeah. And like, that'd get be this fun. And what I think would make fishing more macho to your uh, perception, Malcolm's done it, which is bow fishing. He's gone with a bow sure. and, and has done bow fishing. Maybe that would Well, I also think more... being in like a boat in the middle of the lake which we didn't do would also yeah. be a little more because we just sat on the dock that's right how cool would it be if we had like a not just like a canoe or like a, but we actually had like a yeah like a full-on boat it would be better to have a full-on boat that'd be yeah. sick yeah. yeah and you're like out on a the canoe end. is so like it's cramped and like and if I you think, lean one way it sure. like makes you nervous kind and, of thing. and i think it would help to be like in a beautful like fresh water area not just like a swampy green mm-hmm. like like to be in like a beautiful clear well, the water. cottage we were at i don't know if it was clear water but it was definitely like like blue and it was i I can't remember the color of the water, but I remember like all around it was clean and mm. there was like trees and it was like we were where in we the went? heart of it. Where we went. Do you really? Remember? Yeah, we actually had canoes and we did fish on yeah, in canoes. Yeah, but like where it got to the dock was more like green and mossy and like plants and That's shit. right. I, I don't know about the quality of the water. I'm just talking about the surrounding of it. We were in the heart of like Oh, the of I thought you meant the water. No, no, itself. I don't know what the water looked like. Mm. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just... The camping trip kind of instilled in me the conversation of, yeah, I just, I like the outdoors a lot. I like being outside on a much more like macro level now that the sun's out. Yeah. And Should we get on this like camping? The, sorry, this cottage thing. Should I'd we love get on to. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. Um, I thought Malcolm already had something planned. He doesn't have anything booked or anything planned. Mm. Just even being outside, like now that it's the nicer weather, I like I love just sitting in my backyard, just like either reading or just sitting and listening. It's weird to that music you wouldn't extend just... that courtesy to us. Yeah, because Maddie and I were we finished a shift or something. Dude, my backyard's set up now. Let's just go to my. Backyard. Oh, your backyard's set up. Yeah, well, I was gonna up. I was gonna say Maddie and I finished a shift, and he said he was gonna go home, and I was like, oh, can I just like come and like. Mm. You know, sit in the backyard and while I was like upstairs working or and whatever. read. Yeah, I'm like he like barely invites him, us to his house. But honestly, right, I yeah. think that I can just like me, you and <laughs> he didn't hear what you said. By the way, he oh, would I agree heard with it. you. Huh? Oh, I heard it. No, no, he think... he didn't hear what you said. What did you say? Oh. Yeah. What did he say? What you what you said? Oh, the Patrick wanted to be in my yard while I was like up in my room, like editing no, no, I heard or working. That. Oh, you heard that? Yeah, okay. That you were working. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, but I'm just saying that like I like you and Malcolm could come over and just hang out in my backyard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Could we do it in your backyard too, Matt? Or? Could we like come and read it a little bit, maybe do a read side? Could maybe could we come to your backyard chefs. and then you're not there, and we just hang out us three? Like while you're working, like in your room. With I guess I don't know. It just <laughs> seems weird to me. <laughs> no, that is weird. Let's, let's just do my backyard. Oh yeah, we can do we whoever's just, backyard. Well, not my backyard. I literally but. just set up the tarp today with my dad. Oh cool. Yeah. We have to see. Maybe I mean it sounds oh. like maybe next week you guys will do the show. Uh, sans bois. Um, I really want to do a show in your. But that's in what I'm backyard. saying. At some point, now that the weather's nice, nice, yeah. I'd like to try doing That'd a like backyard, outdoorsy episode. Hopefully I was thinking nobody mowing a fucking lawn. Yeah, and we I, can just get away with it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking since I'm going away in September, um, to have some like episodes in the bank. You know how we did that thing during winter of like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did one where it was you and your dad, and mm-hmm. then we did the UTM one was one. Mm-hmm. I was thinking before I leave in September, um, 
Uh, I want to try and film one with like Mustafa and those guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just trying to think of like ways to make like bonus episodes for like that time of year early on. Well, at thing. some point for sure, my dad and I are going to do another one because yeah. every now and then he asks me about doing like he wants to do another one. Another one. Yeah. Um, so I don't know him and I might do one maybe even in like the summer and just post it like in in the summer. The time we do it normally just to like give us like a random week off or whatever. True. Um, but yeah, at some point, I mean, we still have months and months and months, but we'll have to bank like our two. We don't have months week. and months and months. We have three months. For what? For school to start? Oh, wait, wait. You're talking about for winter. I'm talking about like Christmas and oh, shit. Yeah, like we yeah, have yeah, months true. and months to like bank. That's Even right. when you're gone and we're doing the show remote, yeah. like we have time to That's right. bank episodes That's right. even if it's a re- epi- remote episode that we're banking of True. like you know hey it's here's just like a one-off mm-hmm. you know yeah whatever the fuck thing yeah um who wants to get ice cream <laughs> <laughs> i mean i we the problem is it's already like quarter after nine now and we still have to transfer footage and shit so i don't yeah. know what's actually going to be open but i've had boba on the brain you for, know what uh, i actually a might be now. down for what might patrick be down for D spot. Wow. I might be down for some D spot. I don't know. To we... order way too much food and then not eat it all. Um, no, no, no. That. Maddie, why don't we? But but if it's between... Maddie, why don't we split some? But if it's between hanging out for a little bit or getting dessert, I'd rather hang out for a little bit. Why can't we do both? I I would be open to doing both. I don't know what everyone what Maddie's saying though. This fucking place. I don't got anything to be. Uh... A kung fu closes at eleven. Fuck yes, I can get oh. a drinky poo. I don't have anywhere to be uh, tomorrow morning, so I can chill for a couple hours. So okay. we can go get food or uh, the drinks or whatever, and then just come play a board game or something. Should we? And this is not free. Yeah, should enough. we out out for the show and then? I yeah. guess. Fuck. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this. Then. Wow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Um. Doja Cat is not on the. We, we're not bringing that up anymore, are we? No, we. Can I just say, she, not on only is she gorgeous, but she's like her personality seems so fun. Really? Yeah. I've never seen an interview of her. Like I, I was don't... just watching a TV show and she was like in an episode. Yeah. Um, it was Dave on on uh, Disney Plus, and she was like really like she's like really like kind of yeah. charming in it, and yeah. and she's just gorgeous. So I mean. So she's got both. She's like the full package. You would say. I, b- I believe she is. I don't and know she's got p- the money. I don't too? know her personally, but I've, every time I see something of her, she's like really funny and like awesome. kind of happy go lucky type. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, one last thing. Sorry before sure. we cut out. Before we cut out of this, guys. Um, the bear's not on Disney Plus. Yes, it is. I searched. I tried watching the first episode yesterday. I opened my Disney Plus. We have the same account. We all share a just, Disney Plus account. I, you know what's funny? I just watched uh, the first two seasons uh, last week Take on, your phone on out. Disney Plus. Take your phone out. Sure. I just watched it on Disney Plus last on week, Patrick. We're doing this on air. Okay. Press. Now, don't press your account. Press my account. Well, Yours okay. looks different than mine. Maybe I didn't update it. Maybe. But I just I just watched it. Oh, it's just going to open mine automatically. Can you go to Patrick? But I'll show you just, to, just so you see what it looks okay, like. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, it's on here. I'm looking at it right now on my computer. What the hell? Just wait, just wait, just wait. It didn't pop up for me. It's it's right here. I'm looking right at it. Let me see if I have to update my app. Okay. Well, why why are you doing why are you doing all that? Why are you doing all that? I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Bro, are you gonna watch it? I'm gonna watch it. I I intended to watch the first episode yesterday. It's fucking. Incredible. I was literally gonna start it's, yesterday. It's right. Dude. It's right there. And so I'll start it tonight. Dude, can I just I actually kind of can I watch the first episode with you? I want to see what. I'm gonna watch re- it tonight. I want to see how you react to it. I, I'm gonna watch it tonight before I go to bed. Mm. So <laughs> what if I just watched it with you though? In my bed with me. Here, watch it. Why don't we just watch it downstairs? Uh, well, I'd rather us hang out and get. Yeah, we can do stuff. that. Oh, like play games and stuff. Yeah, we can do whatever. Rather. Oh, yeah. So then, not watch it is what I'm saying. Is that right? I'm saying like after we're done hanging out, if you if you want to watch and you you wouldn't mind having me just chilling with you, then yeah, we can watch. I just want to see your reaction to it. Oh, I was gonna watch it in bed, dog. <laughs> That's fine. I'll join you. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be there. All right. Thank you uh, for watching the show. Uh, see ya. That was it. Just the Doja Cat thing, and then. Th- that whole tirade. Does anyone have anything else? Do you have anything else? No, I'm just... You're such a... See ya! Goodbye! <laughs>